very few homes that perfectly execute luxury and practicality. When a home offers a luxury experience, it typically is missing practical elements that make it a seamless place to live. That same sentiment rings true to homes that possess many themes of practicality. So when I came across a home that had both, I knew immediately it was going to be something special. Today, we're taking a tour of that very home. Say hello to the Hamilton Estate located here in Kansas City, Missouri. This elegantly crafted European-inspired home is by Cardinal Crest Homes, and it is full of charm around every corner. From its gorgeous great room to the incredibly awesome prep kitchen and pantry, it certainly ranks high as one of my favorites that we've ever toured. This home features four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and a six-car tandem garage sitting inside an exquisite exquisitely designed 4,113 square feet. On the front of the home, you'll find a European inspired elevation with two towering gables, which give this home a distinct appearance and perfectly blends the gorgeous stone accents, stucco, and wood siding. Moving around to the back of the home, there is a large covered deck that seems to go on forever. It has a beautiful stone fireplace right in the middle and offers plenty of space for outdoor entertainment. On the basement level, there is a large patio that also extends from one end of the home to the other and offers even more space for backyard fun. As far as the price of this home, all in will run you approximately $2.1 million, including lot and upgrades, though that price could differ due to a number of reasons. Now before we get started, make sure that you check out timothypetelivingston.com where you can search for this home and all the homes that we've toured across the country and you can see if they're built in your area, get price information, and so much more. With that, let's go ahead and get in this home. Alrighty, so this is the view when you first walk in and it is absolutely beautiful of course i say that in every home but this one it just keeps going and getting better as it does go so turning it around into the two-story foyer beautiful light fixture up there plenty of windows and then you have the staircase going up to the second floor as well as down to the basement so right after you walk in you've got this great big glass wall right here which really gives this office space like an industrial feel like I don't know I just I think it looks really good pretty sharp looking and then coming into the office itself just really really going with like that uh, like the whole home brings those European accents together. It's almost like a, I don't know. It's like a giant cottage is what it feels like. But beautiful space. And then from here, we'll go up underneath of this catwalk right here, which connects all of the bedrooms upstairs. And you enter into the great room. So you got the vaulted ceilings with the exposed beams, great big sprawling light fixture right here, and then a massive gas fireplace with these big old built-ins on either side. And that just looks cool. So no mantle, but you do have the hearth down here, which is uh, pretty nice. And then all of the, wait until y'all see these, uh, like light toggles, like the light switches. They're literally toggles. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. They're all like gold plated and everything. I think it looks super cool. But a lot of windows in here. Uh, you do have views back up into the catwalk uh, from this side as well, which is pretty nice. And then this kitchen, y'all, man. This is what dreams are made of. So this is the main kitchen. You got this beautiful island, lovely wood color right here. Oh, these countertops are to die for, like killer. Got the gold plates. Nice, ooh, the, look at this dishwasher. Blends right in, you would never know it. 
That is cool. And this sink, like the whole island, the countertop, just, it's all one piece. That's what it looks like anyway. How cool is that? All right, and then getting into the, <laughs> the stove. Man, look at all these little ovens. Got another little oven over here. The range hood, and it just all seamlessly blends together, which is, I mean, I know I say they're all cool, and I always see the coolest one, but <laughs> this might actually be it. I mean, just the detail, it's ridiculous. And then on the opposite side, I, I guess this is the refrigerator. I don't normally open them, but anymore. But I love how it just blends together. And you got, I guess that would be the freezer on the bottom. And then this beautiful cabinetry with the glass front. And this, <laughs> wait till you see this pantry. It's like a whole butler's pantry. One, you got the automatic light, so when I get in here, light will turn on, just like that. But you got the ladder with all the shelves and the ladder. Oh, it flows so nicely. Again, remember how we did in Pittsburgh? I might actually get on this and we'll do some, <laughs> some after shots at the end. So, but plenty of shelves on both the front and the back. And then you can enter into... Uh, I guess the prep pantry. You got a sink in here, some open shelves, and it's so moody. With just that single light right there, you got the wine chiller. Ooh, a little ice maker. Great big deep drawer right here. You got two of those little square ones on either side. And then you got a microwave in here too. Pretty dark but still but see these are the light switches that I was talking about they're just like toggles I don't know I think they're pretty neat and then right off of that you've got the dining room again vaulted ceiling but all wood in here and just a great big space 180 degree views out uh, sliding glass door on either side and then windows on the back Got that built-in grill out there. We're about to get out there. It's a little windy though. This whole trip has been so windy uh, to the point where my drone, <laughs> it said, nah, I'm done. <laughs> they did that when we were in uh, uh, Wichita. But anyway, you come out here, got the ceiling fan. You got another gas fireplace. Great big mantle out here on this one with the stone fireplace. And then the sconces out here are just gorgeous. And then this kind of wraps around. This is the access out onto the back porch from the master bedroom. And we'll get into there in just a minute. Try and block y'all from the wind a little bit, but we'll get over here and check out the grill. Whew, that's clean. And then, uh, that door right there comes out of the garage, but we'll get into the garage uh, in just a minute as well. But let's go back inside. And there is, <laughs> we'll actually head to the garage right now, uh, down the little hallway. Man, yeah, y'all let me know what you think about this home. And we, we've barely gotten into it. Uh, but let me know down in the comments. So this hallway right here uh, goes all the way back down to the foyer and this is the garage door it's just a big old garage so that's the door that we saw out by the grill and then you even got the lights in here that's pretty nice and your three stalls and then Right inside your mud room. This has got to be the fanciest mud room I've ever seen. So you've got all of these built-ins, like cubby holes. 
They're basically like lockers. They open them up, they've got hooks on them. They've got these fun little cutouts, soft clothes. Very nice. And then you've got this almost like a day bed at the end, just a good spot to kind of sit down and kick your shoes off where you got plenty of room. And then you've got a great big storage closet in here with like a coat room, hang up your jackets. And then next to that is the powder room. So you've got your toilet and this really pretty vanity right here with the, the gold mirror. The ceilings are nice. And you've got a little floating shelf down below it. All right, so there is a master bedroom on the main level, and we're gonna do that right now. But at the end of the hall, coming into the master suite, you got a great big linen closet right here. I guess we'll go this way first. This, uh, this laundry room, behind us, it is, it is something. So coming into the master bedroom, more exposed beams. I love the almost stone accent wall. It's like a wrought iron, almost light fixture. I'm telling you around every corner is something awesome. So <laughs> coming into the master bedroom, Beautiful tub. You got double vanities, one on either side. Opposite that, you do have the water closet. And then the shower. Double shower heads. Great big bench, nice tile shower tray. Yes, please. <laughs> and then all the way at the end, you've got a makeup vanity. Again, another little fun light fixture. Let's, let's see, I haven't checked the drawers in here. That one doesn't open. Yeah, they seem. They are soft clothes as well. And then from here, you come into the master closet. Now you can access this from the laundry room as well. And you know how we saw all those super tall closets when we were in Wichita? Well, this one also has it, but it's got these handy dandy pull down racks. So that makes it convenient, way easier than, I guess they're already attached, you know what I mean? But they're soft clothes, so. I wanted to be uh, careful with it when I, <laughs> when I first did it. You know, I've never seen anything like that. But through the closet, you come into the laundry room, beautiful floors. I love the color too. I think that looks amazing. You've got space for front load washer and dryer and a nice folding table. You've got a wash basin right here and then just a really pretty, like uh, the prettiest laundry room I've ever seen. All right, so we'll go ahead and go downstairs real quick. There's not a lot to downstairs. You have a little sitting room down here and then the basement is pretty much unfinished. So just a nice little sitting room and then if you come through here, plenty of space. Access out onto the patio. Just pan you around real quick. You've got some uh, storage right there underneath of the stairs. The furnace, the water heater, even more space over here. So, I mean, all this stuff could be rooms. Let me know what you think about it. What would you do with it? 
but you leave it as storage and then you have even more here underneath of the garage. So plenty of storage space. All right, so now we're gonna work our way back up to the foyer and we're gonna head upstairs. And as we work our way up, you get ever closer to that beautiful light fixture right here. The catwalk. I love the railings on either side. So to the left of us right here, you have one bathroom as well as one bedroom. This is the first. There's actually what, three bedrooms up here. So this one sits on the front of the home. And then into its closet. And then across the way, really nice bowl sink right there. I love that. Just the texture on the knob. Then you've got the toilet and a standalone shower with the tile surround and shower tray. Then at the end of the hall is just uh, the upstairs furnace. Now you do have a, an upstairs laundry also. So that is very convenient. And that sits right through here. Got some more storage cabinets, all nice and built in. And then you come into the laundry room. So great space to fold some clothes and some more washer and dryer hookups. Yeah, I was like, Jen got me to get an early start because she was like, this home's massive. It's going to take you forever. And I actually fly out tonight. So I got this home and I've got one more home I got to do. And then I got to be at the airport by like five. So she wanted me to get an early start. You know, I got to get my, I got to get my beauty sleep. You know what I mean? Got to be fresh. But uh, anyway, um, I walked in here and I was like, oh, it's not too bad. You know what I mean? It's not overly big it's it's a it's a really good size but coming into the second bedroom up here and i like that this one has its own ensuite actually within the room not in the hallway a little light fixture up there too and then this has a jack and jill bathroom that connects the two bedrooms into the closet and attic access in this closet now this I will say that this home is a tall home so having even more space in an attic is I mean that's pretty crazy so shower and tub combo in here and the toilet Ooh, that tripped me out. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. I thought it was gonna be a whole drawer. That's funny. Oh, the things we find. And then this is the third bedroom up here. I love the tray ceiling. Get over here in this corner. Yeah, so I like this one. All right, here we go. Man, this home, it's got so many cool things. I think you're gonna like every little bit of it.
All right, welcome to the 608 by Highland Home. When you first walk in, this is the view that you were greeted with. You've got this grand two-story foyer right here, the coffered ceilings, nice baby blue little color up there. And then here on the floor, you've got this kind of trellis pattern with the marble inlay tile, which looks really, really sharp. You've got a staircase winding up to the second floor. But let me go ahead and turn you around real quick, let you check out the front door which has this really nice, open, modern looking glass pane. And then up above it, you've got a light fixture. Behind that little cutout, uh, just which is cool. Uh, so you can have that window, just a neat little feature. At least it's got a cutout so you can climb up there and clean the window out. Uh, but a lot happening in the foyer itself. And we'll go ahead and start over here to the right hand side, which is the office, you've got these two double glass pane doors right here and a beautiful kind of cathedral ceiling with these exposed beams. I think that looks really sharp. You've got the super nice built-in back behind it with those accent lights up above it. Plenty of lower cabinets as well. And then some just great big windows. They are actually, you got these wooden blinds right here and that goes pretty much throughout the whole home, which is pretty neat. I saw them in the last home that we did uh, just a little bit, but it didn't hold a candle to this home. This one is, you know, from the outside, cool, we've seen homes like that before, but this one, just from the inside, the design of it is, uh, is pretty cool. So across the hall, this is on the left-hand side of the foyer as you walk in. You've got a little storage closet right here with some nice wood shelves. And then on the opposite side is one of the doors to the garage. This is actually, we won't be able to get into the other side just because they use it as offices, but you do have access right here. So actually it's pretty neat because if you were to use this as like a junior suite or an in-law suite uh, or just a little guest bedroom, which sits right here off the foyer. Uh, they have their own little access to the garage and they don't have to go traipsing through the house, which is pretty neat. Almost like a little apartment right here at the front of the home, you know what I mean? But it's got these really nice dark blue stucco walls. Great big window off to the side over there. And then getting into the closet so you've got a little walk-in closet right here nice wood shelves and then on the opposite side is the ensuite so you've got a single vanity some vanity lights and then the toilet and a walk-in shower with a really nice tile surround going all the way up to the ceiling again this home you're going to see a lot of these kind of brass accents throughout and you know who's a fan <laughs> well jennifer i feel like she only seeks out homes with you know dark cabinetry and bronze and copper and gold accents so again here in the the foyer we're going to go ahead and head upstairs uh, just because keep the flow going that way when we get back downstairs we can uh check out the good stuff like the kitchen, the great room, the master bedroom, and oh my goodness, this thing has, I almost wanted to call it a courtyard, but um, it's, it's not really a courtyard. It's almost like just an outdoor dining space, which is pretty neat. But uh, as you come up to the top of the stairs, you've got this loft area that looks down into the great room itself. Got a little closet over here. I'll show you, I'll give you the view from up here. Don't you worry. But fun little closet, maybe put some, store the games, some extra cozy blankets or something like that. And then on the opposite side, you've got a full wet bar kitchen area, almost like a little kitchenette. So you've got the sink, some glass pane cabinets, soft closed drawers and then you've got this little bar area right here which is super nice definitely bring some guests up here and kind of 
do some socializing. And then on the other side, you have a beverage cooler, built-in microwave, and then some more cabinets and drawers. I'll go ahead and give you a little sneak peek. It looks so much grander from down there though. But this looks down into the great room, the little living room area, but those ceilings go from one end uh, of the home to the other and it's amazing. So we'll go ahead and start working our way down the hall. You got attic access right here, then a little media room. And this is all separated by this pocket door right here. I haven't been up here yet, so this is all new. We got another big, huge room, like a second, second junior suite. This one, I might say that this one does have an in-law suite. And this is the junior suite. But this room is massive too. You've got the almost kind of dormer cutout, little bump outs on either side. And these actually look down into that courtyard. So this home does have an, a, like a back patio, but it's also got this little courtyard area. And right now they've got it set up. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a dining room, like an outdoor dining room. And it's got a fireplace out there and it's just super cool looking. I feel like a little bit of deja vu seeing it almost. I don't know if we've toured something like it or not. But anyway, coming into the ensuite of this one, this is a really nice ensuite for like a secondary bedroom. This isn't even the master bedroom. So you've got a walk-in shower right here too. Some more cool tile and then into its walk-in closet. This one's a little bit bigger than the one that we saw downstairs. Then it also has the double vanities and the vanity lights. Yeah, whew. Coming down from Houston, I didn't really know what to expect. Of course, I never really do, you know what I mean? Jen just is like, here, you're going to tour this today. And I'm like, oh, cool. And, uh, you know, I, I get to see some pictures, but it's never, most of the time, it's never actual, the actual home uh, that we're touring. But today it was, and uh, <laughs> come to find out, it was even better than I could have expected. So, all right, this is the, First kind of secondary bedroom, if you will, like, I guess, smaller bedroom. All of these still have their own en suites though. Nice big space. It has a single vanity, the toilet, and then a shower and tub combo with, that's actually a really cool pattern. I like that. And then next to that, it has a walk-in closet. And the, the bedrooms, every one of them so far, are huge. And then all the way at the end of the hall, this is the second secondary bedroom. This actually sits up towards the front of the home just to kind of give you an idea as far as where we're located. And then it also has its own, I guess we'll go this way first, own vanity or <laughs> own ensuite with the single vanity, vanity lights. Again, I love those wood blinds too. This is like the first home that I've seen or second home that I've seen that has had them. But even the other homes from Highland, uh, other than today, uh, haven't had them in their models, you know, and that's what we tour is the models. So, um, but it was just kind of interesting. All right, now that we've taken care of the upstairs, we can go ahead and start working our way downstairs. Uh, but if you are interested in this model or Highland Homes, definitely find the information for that up at the top of the description. Or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can not only find this home, but all the homes that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area, you can get pricing information, you can filter based off of price. Uh, square footage, number of bedrooms, all different types of stuff. So definitely go check that out. And as we come down and exit the foyer, we come to the formal dining room area. Got this nice big 
light fixture over this huge table. Nice little decorative built-in back behind it. I know I keep opening up all the drawers and cabinets, or at least the drawers. I probably need to open up a cabinet, don't I? But the cabinet door right there actually wasn't soft closed, but the drawer was. And then from there, you come into this gorgeous great room. Again, and there's still tons of things happening uh, off of every single room, but gigantic cathedral ceilings. You've got these nice cutouts over here, the exposed beams, great big gas fireplace with these built-ins on either side. And then just off of that, you do have another powder room. So you've got a single pedestal vanity, the toilet, and then we've got, I think this, oh, this might be access out onto the back patio. I think that's what that is right there. So that's nice, oh, but it's in the house. We've been seeing a couple of them where they're actually out on the patio, but that's, that's pretty nifty. Another little storage closet. And then from here, you can kind of see the banisters upstairs looking into that loft area. And then we can see back into the kitchen, which is just absolutely beautiful. But before we get there, we've got a couple more things to do. So you've got some sliding barn doors right here that open up into this media room, which is pretty neat because now you can just use the great room as like a fireplace room, like a hearth room. And then you can come in here nice and cozy and all, I don't know, just ready to hang out with a big old bag of popcorn uh, and watch some, some cool movies. So I'd be interested to see how everybody would arrange this. You do have these nice sconces on both sides. You've got the tray ceiling up above us. So pretty neat room. And then from there you can go into the kitchen, but you can also kind of hang a left over here and you will find the laundry room. So you've got washer dryer hookups, some nice shelving and cabinets up above it. And then you've got a little bit of folding space over here, nice deep wash basin. Ooh, another powder room. <laughs> yeah, bathrooms around here for days. So that's pretty cool. And then the ceilings, it's almost like, almost like a tray ceiling, but the whole ceiling is a tray ceiling, you know what I mean? Pretty interesting. <laughs> Once I saw the powder room on the other side, I didn't expect to have one uh, on this side. All right, so I know we're gonna get to the kitchen in just a minute, because it's gorgeous. But uh, across the way, You've got another pocket door that separates this wet bar area from the kitchen itself. But over here, you also have access out onto the back patio. Let's see. So that's nice, but you also have these sliding glass doors that open up into the great room. Yep, that door right there was definitely access into the bathroom, so that's nice. But just Another great spot. I mean, this whole home is just, it seems to be built for entertaining, you know what I mean? And you'll see that once we, I can't, I like this uh, little outdoor dining space. And it's like open too, you know what I mean? Almost like we could call it an open air dining space. Maybe we'll put that in the title. I don't know, but anyway, this kitchen. You've got this great big island with this kind of a rounded end right here. And then you've got seating all the way down it. Talk about some, some dinner parties. But uh, I, I don't know if I pointed that out, but you do have the light fixtures, uh, like the chandeliers, three of them going all the way down. But huge island right here, you've got outlets all the way down. On this end, you've got a cabinet and a drawer. I don't know if this is an actual drawer. That's not an actual drawer. But you do have a cabinet over here. And then on this side, a couple 
glass pane, decorative cabinet. We've got spice racks on either side. So there's one on this side and one on that side of the stove. We've got this huge range hood right here. It's even, I wonder if, what these cabinets look like up here. A little bit of actual storage space up there. So that's nice. And then in the island, I didn't really show you what was on this side of the island, but you got your trash can cabinet. There's a dishwasher on this side as well. And then you've got the sink. Kind of looking at the other side of the counter, but it's cool because you've got that little outdoor eating space over there too. So you're really in close proximity to everything. A little buffet on this side. Then you've got another built-in oven, built-in microwave, and tons more cabinets over here too. Then just off of that, this door right here would take you into uh, the remaining portion of the garage. But then you've got a little built-in little drop zone area right here. And then beyond that, you've got a nice little butler's pantry, which is cool. Plenty of extra storage in here. You can keep everything nice and tidy in the kitchen. Got another little beverage cooler and then some more wine racks, some more glass pane cabinets. And then you've got a few extra cabinets and drawers all right here too. So very nice. Now we're gonna access, you can access it right here via this sliding door, which opens all the way up, or you can come here through the master bedroom where you have private access out here onto this kind of outdoor eating area. I swear I've dreamed about this before, like I've seen it or something along those lines. I don't know, I'm gonna have to go back and, and look through our videos. I'm not sure, I, I swear we've seen something like this before, but it is extremely cool. Uh, you've got the lanterns. Could you imagine just opening up everything? You've got this gas fireplace over here, huge mantle. I would love to have something like this. Putting that on the, on the checklist. But anyway, uh, from there you come into this gorgeous master bedroom. You've got, again, the cathedral ceilings with the exposed beams and just tons of room. I like how the headboard kind of extends a little bit on this bed where you've got the, your nightstands on either side. That looks pretty nifty, a little different. But then again, you've got these two great big chandeliers and then just plenty of space. Some more great big windows over here. Nice little sitting area. I mean, this is, this one's pretty high up there on the dream bedroom list, that's for sure. But from there, you've got uh, these two little doors right here. They're almost, I feel like they're the same size. It's like if you took a standard door, just split it in half and then opened it from the middle. It's just kind of what they remind me of. But anyway, through those, you come into this beautiful ensuite. So much happening in here too. Uh, double vanities, but they're on opposing sides. You've got a soaking tub, a great big walk-in shower. The only thing that it's missing, I think, is a rainfall shower head. Definitely would want that. But you've got the tile surround, tile shower tray. A linen closet. A water closet, all the closets. And then back behind this, I didn't really show it off too much, but you have a whole makeup vanity, like all the counter space in here. And that is looking out the window into the backyard. So tons of space. Open up some of these drawers, see if there's any fun built-ins in here. No, but there's the backsplash to something. And then from there, again, same type of doors that led into the ensuite itself lead into this gigantic closet. So you've got 
built-ins everywhere. It's kind of like a his and her side. Ooh, it just wraps around, huh? Oh, and this is fun too. So you can even, it's got some storage back here all the way up. And then you can just like, you know what I mean? Play hide and go seek. And then you've got some more built-ins over here with some drawers. Ooh, doggy, this is a closet right here. And away we go. This one is another absolutely stunning home. Just the amount of space, like the air space, the, the height of the ceilings, you know what I mean? It is just absolutely gorgeous. But when you do first walk in, this is the view that you were greeted with. You have this foyer. There's actually a double tray ceiling up above us with a little bit of kind of like shiplap accent, which is pretty neat, beautiful light fixture. And then here are your two great big front doors looking out onto that beautiful porch and all of the windows within them just helping. Not that this home needs it at all with the light, but it is gorgeous. Now on either side of the foyer, you have a lot of things happening. To the left side, as you walk into the home, you have this great big flex room office space. You've got a window looking again out onto your patio area. You've got these glass pane double doors right here that just, again, help but brighten up all of the spaces. Beautiful crown molding too. Really nice. Yeah, I just got out of the first one, uh, which I was super excited about. It had a gorgeous back porch. Um, and this is the first time, you know, we've been touring partners in building and their homes. <laughs> Again, me and Jen just sat down one day and went through, kind of picked out the ones that we wanted to check out. And all of them have been absolutely stunning. Now on this side of the foyer, this is the first of the bedrooms. And all of the all of the bedrooms, all of the homes, all the bedrooms have their own en suites, which is super cool. This one sits up towards the front of the home. You've got these nice wood blinds again, which I've been seeing a lot of them in the past couple tours. Past couple home builders have been uh, incorporating them. And I just think it's super cool. It just, it makes it look uh, a lot nicer, you know what I mean? But into the ensuite, you've got the single vanity right here, fun little light fixtures, the toilet, and then you have this shower and tub combo, great big shower head, that thing is huge. With the tile going all the way up to the ceiling. Oh, that's fun too. So no, I'm sure you would put, I don't know, maybe not, but this curtain right here is on a track, which is cool, so no like, shower rod i'm sure you would actually put a shower rod out there but maybe not i don't know and then into the closet really nice wood shelves in here love these darker hanging dowels but nice size walk-in closet and then across oh we already looked at that didn't we getting all discombobulated uh just past that also towards the end of the foyer. Now this is the entrance into the master suite. And it sits back towards the back of the home. I know some of y'all yell at me for coming into these things early on in the tour, but you know, it's just gotta stick with the flow. But this one is gorgeous. I love the colors in here too. Kind of like a, a slate blue color. You've got this beautiful accent wall back behind the bed. And then this really fun light fixture too. Then the double doors that lead into the ensuite. Ooh, that's really nice. Look at those sconces. Got the, I guess they're not really, I was wanting to call them like puka shells there for a minute, but it kind of resembles that, you know what I mean? But not actually. Anyway, uh, so double vanity, a little makeup vanity in the middle. And then back behind us, you have this great big soaking tub. And I have not walked through this shower yet, but it's got uh, some car wash vibes going on. You got, or at least through here, it's a zero threshold. And then it looks like it drops down a little bit. 
you got the double shower heads. Nice big bench along the back. And then a big old window. Again, you know, a little bit of light that's shining throughout this entire home. Now, off of that, I only caught a glimpse of this walk-in closet and it looks ginormous. But before we get to it, got another linen closet all the way to the back of the ensuite. All of the shelves in there. I think it's huge. Now check this out. Ooh, <laughs> this thing is huge. Googly moogly. You're gonna need one of those hooks. You can hang up all the clothes. You, there's no need for dressers in this closet. <laughs> this thing is wild. It's like a, a library for clothes, you know what I mean? And then you've got attic access right there. And there's actually two different, there's another spot upstairs where you got attic access. And you're probably asking, how the heck do you get to that? I think they've got a, you'll see there's a little uh, hook thing. But then, this is your shoe rack. You need a ladder just to get up there. <laughs> Ooh, that's fun. And then what's behind here? It's your, your water main. I was, I was like, man, that'd be a cool place to put a safe, you know what I mean? But I'm sure if you got a home like this, you definitely got a safe. All right, we'll wind our way back out here and then into the great room. So, huge ceilings. Got these great big windows looking out into the backyard. And then this really nice brick fireplace going all the way up to the ceiling. Great big mantle. I love how tall it is. Like it stands higher than my head. And then you've got the gas fireplace, great big, hearth and then on either side you've again got these kind of ship lappy accent walls that kind of match the ceiling in the foyer and you've got plenty of room on either side for some decor then from there we come into the kitchen and i think this kitchen just looks really nice and elegant it's not like white cabinets are more like a cream color which is nice but in the middle you've got this great big island Let's see what type of fun things we can find so you got the trash can drawer right here farmhouse apron sink and that looks out into the great room cool little ball pendant lights over the top of the island the dishwasher and then on the far side as you've probably already seen, is a nice big lip with plenty of seating space. Now this one, surprisingly, doesn't have any storage up underneath of it. But then on the opposite side, you've got great big refrigerators, some glass pane cabinets going all the way around the kitchen. Put some nice decorations up there. A built-in microwave. Nice to see one not down by our knees. You've got these great big drawers. Not soft clothes, but I'm sure that is something that you can upgrade to. Got the double ovens, again, with this kind of, I don't digital clock thing. I think you can change, we saw them before where you can change the, uh, the back of them, which is pretty neat. And then the cabinets, they actually, ooh, some Pop-Tarts. <laughs> I love me some Pop-Tarts. I like those, uh, the blueberry ones. Those are my favorite. But then you've got the gas range right here with this beautiful tile backsplash. And then you've got this huge, glorious range hood sitting up above it. And then a little bit more counter space as you work your way down. Now, before we get into the dining room, we're gonna go this way. So you've got a little drop zone right here. And I think this door goes out into uh, one of the, you got the, oh, okay, it kind of wraps around. So you've got the two car garage on this side and then you've got the single garage over there. Then back behind us, this home does have a pantry because I put my backpack in here. 
<laughs> so you got the double doors leading into this big old pantry. Got shelving going all the way around it. Then all the way at the end of the hall is the laundry room. We've got washer dryer hookups, a little folding table, some cabinets. They don't quite go all the way up to the ceiling. Looks like you'd have some shelves in there. And then back behind us is interesting. I wonder if this is kind of like a butler's pantry uh, area here within the laundry room. Got a little counter space right here with some outlets, but then you also have a little outlet right here. So you can put like a refrigerator or like a chest freezer or something along those lines, which is pretty neat. Then on the opposite side of the kitchen, we come into this beautiful dining room space. I like this a lot. Fun little rustic chandelier up above it. I don't know if y'all can see it because the lights are so bright, but windows going all the way around. The only thing that it's missing here in the dining room is access out onto that back patio, but we'll get to that in just a minute. And then this thing just keeps on going. Uh, next to us is the stairwell up to the second floor, uh, and we'll also get to that in just a minute <laughs> too. But another great big room in here. Looks like a little bonus room. Got the vaulted ceilings up above us. And then this does have the double doors out onto that back patio, which is pretty neat. A little place to, like a whole wing of, <laughs> They got, the, they got a lock on the back of it, so I can't open it. I'll have to get that from the backside. Hopefully you've already seen it, but anyway. Then back behind us, you've got another set of, these doors are huge too. Let's see if we can close them real quick so you guys can check it out. But you got double doors that lead into this theater room or, you know, another bonus room. You can obviously turn this into whatever. You got some more sconces in here. Then in the corner, what do we got? A little media closet, I guess. And then just some, let's see if y'all can, y'all can't see that, there you go. Some storage up underneath of the stairwell. Sometimes you just gotta roll with it, you know what I mean? Anymore, I just come in here, I check out, make sure all the toilet lids are down, and then that's about that. Then we get on with the tour, but, uh. Just off of that kind of game room area, you've got another, maybe like a little closet to put some, store some games or some fresh linens. Then next to that is a powder room. So you got the toilet, a lot of space in here too. Single vanity with the vanity lights. It's one of the wider powder rooms we've seen. All right, now let's get on upstairs. Uh, again, if you do want any more information on this home, uh, you can find that right there at the top of the description, or you can also go over to timothyplivingston.com uh, where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country, including the other ones from Partners in Building, and you can see if they are built in your area. So up at the top of the stairs, you've got this little loft area, a little reading room space, which is nice. It's kind of on the side of the home. You've got this window looking out kind of over the garage area. I wonder what this is. Some attic access. Ooh, it's warm. It's already, I think it's supposed to get up to, well, yesterday was super hot. You got up to 91. Today, I think it's, it's supposed to get pretty close to that, uh, which is nice, you know? That's why we, we head south in the kind of cooler months. And then we'll be heading to all the northern states, uh, you know, in the midst of, of summertime. But uh, you've got a little corridor right here at the top of the stairs. And this, on either side of it, uh, are the secondary bedrooms up on this level. This one's sitting up on the front side of the home. I like this little built-in bookshelf. I think that's pretty neat. 
and then into the ensuite. So again, another single vanity in here, toilet, another door. This got to be a closet. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice size closet too. All the surprises, a little built in right here. And this thing just keeps going. There's even more. I don't even know what this would be for, but it's got a door. <laughs> so. Even more storage. That's kind of, that's different to see it in this closet. All these secret rooms. And we didn't even get to the shower. So you got the shower head and then a tile surround with the shower and tub combo. So I'm determined to get me sidetracked. Uh, just outside of that bedroom, you've got another linen closet. And then up above us, attic access. This one's got that little handle thing that I was talking about. So it's got a little hook up top. You can take it off, probably take it down to uh, the other attic access downstairs. Then in this hall, this bathroom uh, is actually shared by this common space up here. And then this other bedroom, which we're about to get into. So another shower and tub combo. And then into the second bedroom up here. I like these little foot pedestal things. Those things are funky. And then, ooh, this is fun too. All types of things I've never seen. You got the little bitty drawers up here. That's cool. And then into its closet right here. Oh yeah, I love that. And away we go. Man, this, uh, this home. I am definitely a sucker when it comes to these kind of ultra modern looking homes. Just, I love the airiness of them. This model is the Somerset. It consists of three bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, and that is sitting inside of approximately 4,257 square feet. <laughs> This is your front entrance as soon as you walk in, you can see clear out onto that back patio and then the hills back behind it. Turning it back around into the foyer, you have this beautiful stone going all the way up to the ceiling, exposed beams kind of traversing throughout this house. And then you look at these kind of super sleek sconces on either side too. The front door is a pivot door, which I really, really like. I've been seeing a lot of those, especially on these kind of modern style homes. Um, I've seen them super big, super narrow, all different types of things, but uh, I'm kind of a fan of it. But from the foyer, you come out into the common area. You've got these beautiful vaulted ceilings with these great big beams, again, running from the kitchen all the way to the living room. But we're gonna go ahead and start on the living room side of things, uh, just because this is kind of a, a split bedroom layout. You've got the two secondary bedrooms and the loft area that all sit on this side. But check this out, all these great big windows that are just flooding tons of light into this living room. Huge chandelier. And then this fireplace, whoo, this fireplace. Super toasty. Right next to that, you've got this floating cabinet. A little bit of storage in there. And then from here, looking back, you can see clear into the kitchen, just kind of, again, you've got these gold accents. <laughs> I don't think, uh, I don't think Jen necessarily noticed that one, even though, you know, it was on the tutorial list. But anyway, as you uh, work past the living room, you come into this hallway that leads into a couple different things. The first of which is this kind of den area, a little media room over here off to the right hand side. You've got these double doors right here. A lot of wood accents going throughout this home, which is super cool. Kind of brings like that rusticness 
uh, that you would expect down here in Texas, I guess, or in the hill country uh, with like the sleek and modern style of the home. I think it just looks cool. Almost like a, a log and timber style home, you know what I mean? But just with like a modern air to it, I guess. But this is a great big space. Plenty of room in here. Definitely like a, a little movie theater room, especially since you've got the private balcony right next to it. You got a little closet right here with two doors. And then now I've been seeing a lot of these. You've got uh, the little closets within the closets, which is super cool, which houses all of your uh, like appliances. Not appliances, you know what I mean, but uh, like the furnace and I don't think I've seen the water heater yet, but and then from here, you can also go out onto this private back patio that overlooks kind of the pool area. You got this really nice metal banister with the wire and the wood. And then, of course, you can see the pool area. You can see over into uh, the back patio. And then actually, there's a super special surprise down below. But I, you're going to have to wait till the end of the video to actually see that um, because I haven't even seen it yet. I just know that it sits there. So I'm kind of excited about that. I don't have a clue. But anyway, uh, coming out of that room in the hallway, uh, you do have a powder room right here, which is super moody. I love this powder room right here. You've got these fun little light fixtures hanging down that really create that kind of atmosphere in here. You've got these gray walls, little accent lights over the top of the toilet. Then the set of stairs going up to the loft area, which we'll get to in just a little bit. Uh, and then there's a nice little storage closet here in the hallway. Again, you've got another one of these little closets right here that houses another furnace. Then into the first of the two bedrooms on this side of the home. Check that out, gorgeous ceilings. And the floors, I don't know if I've pointed out the floors, but I mean, they run throughout the whole home and are just absolutely spectacular. Fun little light fixture hanging down over the top of the bed. And then into the closet, again, see this kind of color, just kind of the theme just keeps popping up against the white walls. It's pretty unique actually, uh, from at least from homes that we've toured but anyway into its closet plenty of shelves in there and I think both of these bedrooms actually have their own en suites so that's nice again another pocket door right here and then you've got the shower and toilet you actually have the zero threshold into this shower which is the first I've seen in Texas normally all of them have been dropping down uh, but this one is right flush with the floor so that's super cool and in this closet it's got the, the whole brains to the operation and i'm not sure if that's specifically for the model or this would be like a linen closet and that would be something else i'm not real sure but then you've got this almost canvas i wonder if that's what the ceilings are made of that's exactly what it is it's like a little canvas backsplash going all the way up to the ceiling and the the ceiling in the bedroom itself was made of that same thing so that's pretty neat that's some some detail right there for you <laughs> then all the way at the this actually is the front of the home uh, this sits up towards like the the front driveway and stuff but this is the second of the two bedrooms on this side of the home this one's actually my favorite uh, I actually love this exposed brick stuff, but I'm also a big fan of like industrial style design, you know what I mean? And this one just kind of, it speaks to me. But plenty of room in here, and then it also has its own ensuite again, keeping with that exposed brick. And it is real brick, by the way, so that's kind of cool. I just felt it. <laughs> but. 
another floating single vanity. To the right is the closet. This one is actually in the ensuite. And then on the opposite side of us, we've got the toilet, another crank out window, and then a walk-in shower. This one also has a zero threshold right here, which is kind of cool, but the tile transitions as you get to the shower tray. So a little bit different. And I guess while we're over here, we'll go ahead and go upstairs to check out that uh, loft area, which is another fun little room. Now, if you do want any more information uh, on this model uh, or the builder, you can definitely go over and find that, or I guess go down there and find that. The first link in the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search all the floor plans that we've toured across the country and you can take the full tours and filter them based off of your own specific wants and needs, your desires, if you will, <laughs> something like that. Anyway, think about it. This, I like how they set this up as an office, like the whole upstairs loft area is just an office. So that's cool. This is another full bathroom. This vanity isn't floating, but it's still quite large. Toilet, shower and tub combo up here. It's actually a really low profile tub too. And then you've got a tile going all the way up to the ceiling, removable shower head, and then back behind us, See if there's computer parts in here. Nope. This one's actually another closet. So, I mean, this could even be a bedroom if you wanted to, if you didn't want to turn it into an office space. And then out onto, I'm not going to take you out onto its balcony, but it's there. It's about the same size as the one that was just below us. And then from here, we can get into the, the other good stuff. We'll head over down to the kitchen area. And then wait until y'all see this pantry. This pantry is huge. So great big kitchen over here. You've got the dining room that separates the living room from the kitchen itself. Again, another great big chandelier that matches the one in the living room. And then as you come into the kitchen, you've got some storage right here on the front of the island. Then just tons of workspace on this counter. Uh, you got a little prep sink right here, dishwasher, plenty of drawers on this side. All soft clothes. Two great big lights over the top of the island. And then on the opposite side of us, you've got even more counter space. I love the open shelves on this side because Huh, on the opposite side, that's where you're gonna find all the cabinets. So huge windows looking out onto this back patio into the hot tub, the pool, crank out windows on either side, your stainless undermount sink right here. I mean, I feel like I'm standing on the patio working at this sink. You got a second dishwasher and then more drawers. And then on the back side, you've got this huge gas stove, massive range hood thing goes all the way up there and again keeping some of those wood accents that we've been seeing throughout the home let's check out some of these upper cabinets and then along the back wall you've got this gigantic sub-zero refrigerator built-in microwave and then just a wall of cabinetry so tons and tons and tons of storage and Along with that, ooh, this is fun. You've got like another little appliance garage right here. But along with that, you've still got the pantry uh, that you can use for storage as well. Little small buffet area over here. Then just off of the kitchen, we've got like a little coat closet. 
which is nice because we've got the access from the garage right here as well as the side of the home. Uh, so nice little spot to put the coat. And then next to that, you've got this full walk-in pantry. So many shelves. And I like this too, because it kind of breaks everything up a little bit. Just kind of, I don't know, makes it kind of, it, it reminds me like, because you've got the open shelves and stuff, and this, you just can walk all the way through, walk all the way around, you know what I mean? It's just, I don't even know how to put it into words, I guess. But uh, behind that, you've got this drop zone area. The laundry room. And the laundry room actually has the access out onto um, the driveway. So if you didn't, if you couldn't fit into the garage, plenty of counter space in here for folding. And then back behind us, you've got washer dryer hookups. Some more cabinets. Let's see how much storage is in here. Another closet. And then back along this wall, it looks like, put like another refrigerator right here, maybe a freezer, something along those lines, which we haven't seen a lot of lately. I know everybody, that used to be one of the big comments was there's no space for a freezer, but glad this one's got it. And then into the garage, you've got the three car garage right here. You've got the double door, the single door. I wonder what's back here. Okay, and then your water treatment system. Maybe oh, an air purifier also. I'm not real sure on that one. I've never actually seen one of those. All right, then coming back inside, you've got attic access, and then a kind of a small little pocket office, if you will, some more floating shelves. Love these sconces up above it. They remind me of uh, <laughs> like a stormtrooper uh, in Star Wars. They just look like the, the little black part right there. I think that looks pretty neat. But uh, fun little space. And then going back this way, you can access the kitchen again. But then to the right, you come into the master bedroom with this huge vaulted ceiling. You got the exposed beam, huge windows looking out again to the pool area and the backyard and the hills beyond. Great big light fixture right here over the top of the bed. And just tons of natural light. And then you also have access out onto the back patio, which we'll get out to all of that in just a moment. But off of the bedroom, you come into the ensuite double opposing vanities, plenty of counter space, and then a gorgeous, almost like concrete tub, huge window back behind it. And then you've got the tile going all the way up to the wall. I mean, could you just imagine? I don't know, it's super private back there. Just, that's like relaxation mode, engage. I don't know. But then you come into the walk-in shower, which, hello, dream shower. Zero threshold as you come in, floating bench along the back. You've got a removable shower head, a normal shower head, a rainfall shower head, and then tile surround and a tile shower tray. Gorgeous. And back behind us, we've got the water closet, little crank out window. Some linen cabinets. 
and then wait until you see this <laughs> closet. Woo, this thing is, that's nice, huge. So you've got a mirror right here in the middle, and then again, kind of like a his and her side with storage going all the way up to the ceiling. You can walk under this side, probably not once you actually have clothes, but tons and tons of storage in here. Really nice. Now from here, let's go ahead and there are still some surprises and uh, one of which I haven't seen yet. So uh, pretty excited about that. Let's see if I'm capable. But we'll come out here onto this back patio area got some nice wood ceilings these kind of sleek modern looking fans and then just a great big spot to hang out just enjoy some time with the friends you've got the outdoor kitchen out here with the grill a little refrigerator your sink put the TV up above that you got the, the hot tub that actually flows over the side into this kind of like waterfall little situation and it just keeps going all the way down to the pool which is super nice i almost i wanted to <laughs> to hop in it so so bad i thought it would just be kind of funny for a clip i'm not going to do it because uh the boys actually flew in to dallas the older boys wyatt and cody so super excited about that i gotta run up and grab them tonight um, and we're going to be doing all types of things while they're down here. It's actually Cody's birthday uh, yesterday. But anyway, uh, this is kind of like a pool room. <laughs> you know what? It just dawned on me. Oh man, I was thinking that this was going to be a like an underground pool area, like a little grotto. But <laughs> oh man, tricked me. Anyway, it's uh, you got a little shower down here. Wash all that chlorine off. Zero threshold again in here. Toilet. I do like these light fixtures right here. And then you've also got a mini split to kind of cool the space. Unless I'm missing something. Am I missing something? What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin and we're getting ready to check out a modern vintage home unlike anything else we've toured here on the channel. So with that, let me get you outside. I'll tell you all about it. So today we're going to be checking out 3172 Lyman's Run here in Sun Prairie. This is from Crary Construction. Oh my goodness. And this beautiful home features four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and a three car garage. All of that sitting inside of approximately 3,541 square feet. Y'all, this home is drop dead gorgeous. Y'all just wait until we get inside from the kitchen to the master bedroom and everywhere in between. This home is spectacular. If you are interested in this home, it is currently listed for $1,469,000. And with that, let's get inside and see what all we can find. All right, here we go. Man, oh man, Wisconsin is doing it up on this trip. I can't figure out which one's my favorite because they just keep getting better and better. But this is the view that you're greeted with when you do first walk in and whew, that fireplace, it is getting me. And whoo, that kitchen. <laughs> y'all, we got a lot to get into, tons of stuff in this home. I think y'all are gonna like all of it. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the foyer real quick, open to above. You got the staircase going up to the second floor and it does have a nice little office right there kind of in the middle of the landing. Nice vinyl plank floors throughout the entire home. The only exception is on the stairs themselves. So that is pretty neat. But then as you come to the end of the foyer, you uh, are greeted by this beautiful great room right here. Love this fireplace. It looks absolutely fantastic. The vintage throughout, you're gonna see a lot of that in the decor, uh, as well as, you know, it, it kind of is brought out by the stonework and just the nice big pieces, the trim and the molding. This mantle right here was actually uh, created by the builder's father, which is pretty cool. A lot of family stuff going into this home. And this is, that's something rare. Normally we tour stuff where it's like, 
you know, you don't get the owners of the uh, building companies in here putting their, their sweat into the home. So I think that makes it even cooler, you know what I mean? But I love this great room. Nice big windows, nice toasty fireplace. And then there are two doorways on either side of the fireplace. We're going to go ahead and start over here. This is a sunroom. Just like another, almost like a hearth room. You know what I mean? It's got another fireplace in here, which is super cool. Great big windows. Like this. This is nice. The nice little stone archway right here with the dry bar and then on the opposite side you've got plenty of room to put some furniture it also has a nice door leading out onto it's like a, a little patio area a little front patio sitting on the front side of the house but not connected to the walkway up to the house that's pretty neat. It just gives the, the front of the home a little extra character, you know what I mean? Then on the opposite side, I haven't been back here yet, but I believe this is the master bedroom. We've got the arches. And then, ooh, super tall ceilings. Nice big tray ceiling. Again, keeping with the big molding. Oh boy, y'all that ensuite. I tried to not walk through as much stuff as I could. This is one of the things I didn't walk through and I am so excited I didn't. Cause now getting to see it, <laughs> I love the black, it looks cool. You've got the double vanities with the sink right or the tub right in the middle. The floors in here are heated. The towel rack is heated. I can feel it radiating up. Oh my goodness, it just feels toasty. You got the water closet right here on this side. You can see, that looks like we're going into the shower with this zero threshold tile everywhere going all the way up to the ceiling. Nice rainfall shower head up there. And then around the corner, you come into the master closet. And it is just super tall ceilings, tons of built-ins and wait for it. Ooh, your own personal mini laundry room. There is a full laundry room here within the house as well, but uh, you also have one in the master closet. How handy is that? All right, if y'all thought this was good, now it's, Kind of get on over to the kitchen and dining room areas. Pretty excited about that. I've only found the trash can drawer and that's all that I've opened so far. But uh, I'm sure we can find something, something cool in here. It looks, it looks like it's got some, some stuff, <laughs> some stuff. Anyway, you got the dining room. Just right here off of the kitchen and living room. I don't want to get too far into all of the cabinets and drawers like you got the little drink chiller right here and then you've got some nice cupboards and I don't even know what this is but ooh, it's got the slide outs we're gonna get into it soft clothes like that uh, I also want to hop out here onto this covered back patio check this out real quick and this home just goes and goes and goes it's even got another cool feature which is down in the basement and I'm gonna have to show you guys uh, once we get down there I think you're really gonna like it um, I haven't seen it anywhere else before so 
I thought it was pretty neat. I almost thought it went like to a secret room uh, somewhere. But I guess we'll have to wait and find out in a little bit. Anyway, coming back inside into the kitchen. Let's go ahead and keep continuing around uh, this counter right here. I, I love this, like how it just kind of wraps around. You have tons of counter space in here. But all of the cabinets and drawers, you got the sink looking out into the backyard with the crank out windows, tile going all the way up to the ceiling. And then back behind us, man, that oven right there, that is, ooh, nice range hood. This is the trash can drawer right here, soft clothes. There's another something over here. Ooh, it just has a, just a cabinet, but it's, it matches the trash can drawer, which is pretty cool. I love the range hood. And then on the far side, you've got the built-in microwave looking super neat. It's like all your build drawers, they go right there. And then you also have the refrigerator. Then in the island, check this thing out. I don't think we've seen one. If we have, it's been a long time ago uh, with legs on the island like this. Like, I feel like you could pick this thing up, you know, with a lot of people and move it. Pretty neat. Tons of seating space. Love that. And then uh, let's go ahead and just for the sake of flow, we'll stay on this side of the kitchen, another little archway. And down here you've got access into the garage. You've got a nice little hall tree right here, beautiful colors. I'm really into that sagey green color. But this is the garage. So you've got an access door right here. And then your three stalls and then another access door in the back. A gigantic coat closet. Like a little coat room. And then all the way at the end of this hall is the powder room. So really nice. These this might be the best. I don't know if I can if you can see it or not. But it's cool. It's just like it's got these little hooks that hook together. Just give it a really neat kind of look to it. And then on the opposite side of the kitchen is this amazing a butler's pantry. So tons of more cabinets in here. Oop, another trash can drawer. I was thinking this was gonna be a spice rack. I thought that's what it was. But then not quite going all the way up to the ceiling. And I like the spindles over here on this end of the cabinet. It just looks super cool, like very detailed, you know what I mean? And then on the back side, you've got these double sliding doors that open up into this huge pantry. Just absolute tons of space. All right, now, from here, we're gonna go ahead and start working our way upstairs. I'm gonna save the surprise down in the basement. I think it's a surprise. We'll, you can let me know what you think about it once we get down there, but we'll save that for later. Coming up onto the landing, this is about midway up the stairs, and you come into the office. Second time we've seen those kind of ball lights, which is pretty neat. And this is a fun office too. I like the plant thing back behind us. 
right here. I think that looks pretty sweet. I, uh, you know, I take pictures whenever I, I, I find desks and stuff like that from these homes. Um, sometimes it gets weird when I'm looking for like who makes it. I mean, you might find me upside down trying to find like a tag or something. Luckily, nobody else is in the home, but uh, I get serious about it. I found this one a while back. I'm pretty excited about it. I want to want to get that. Now I'm going to have to do something with that plant. But anyway, at the top of the stairs, you've got this nice little landing. Another little sitting area. Maybe like a little game room or something for the for the kids. And then down the hall, you come to the first of the bedrooms up here. So I'm pretty sure all of these bedrooms, I'm pretty sure, have their own en suites. Or at least close to it. I know this one does. Into the closet. Sweet single vanity, some nice floating shelves over here in the corner, and in the shower. Oh my goodness, I don't know if it's just like the decor it makes it look cool, or it just looks cool, you know what I mean? Anyway, all right, working down the hall, we come to the actual. Uh, I guess not even actual, it's just like another laundry room because this one services all the bedrooms up here. But that's nice. Then all the way at the end of the hall, okay, so they don't have their own en suites. These two down here do share uh, a bathroom. Kind of a cool little setup. It's got some some nooks and turns and stuff like that into its closet. I'll just open up one side on this one. Because this one is the same size as the other closet we were in just a minute ago. And then into the third bedroom. Around the corner is the bathroom. You've got the double vanity. I love the wood and everything throughout this home. I think it looks fantastic. I'm really interested to see what you have to say about it. You know what I mean? Ooh, even the tile's cool. But then you've got the water closet with the shower and tub, tile going all the way up to the ceiling. And then from here, we'll go ahead and swoosh on down to the basement. Swoosh, at least to the top of the stairs, because I kind of wanted to show you this. Now, if you are interested in this model or Crary construction, you can click that link right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area. You can filter based off of number of bedrooms, square footage, all that different fun stuff. Take the tour like you are right now, and then reach out to the builder and get your dream home underway. Or this one's actually for sale, you know what I mean? So down here, it will be finished. It's already priced in um, for when it is purchased. I'm gonna just kind of walk you through some of the things. This right here is the movie theater room. And the cool thing about this though, being like kind of unfinished, uh, is that what it was earmarked for could change based off of you know your preferences. This right here would be like a, a sitting area You've got the wet bar right here. And then down this way, 
is a bedroom and a bathroom. And then on this side, so this, this is pretty cool. This is slated to be a gym. And you know how the bump up up above us would be the office. So it's got that two story feel in here. You know, kids basketball court, kids trampoline, whatever the case may be. Maybe you just want this super cool studio. You know, I would turn this into a studio. Nice big green screen, something like that. I think that would be cool. And then all the way at the end of the hall is another bathroom with the water closet over there. And in this part, this is what I was talking about. So it's actually through the utility room. It's through that door right there, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, this is your utility room. You got water filtration system, water heater, electric panel, furnace. All that fun stuff is in here. It's even got a nice little uh, wash, like a utility sink and the sump pump. And in this door, y'all are gonna kill me. <laughs> If you stayed this long. This door actually leads back up into the garage. But I just, I thought it was cool, a little different. You know, it could be like an escape hatch if you ever had to escape anywhere. I don't know, something like that. What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in Galena, Ohio, getting ready to check out another beautiful home from Old World Custom Homes. So let me turn you around and I'll tell you all about it. These homes have been absolutely spectacular. I have loved both of them. I did just get to walk through this when I had to turn on all the lights, uh, but the amount of detail within these homes, it is absolutely amazing. Uh, I love it and just the amount of ideas that come from it, you know what I mean? They're awesome. Anyway, this is the Columbus model. It is a four bedroom, four and a half bath. It has a three car garage sitting down towards that end. And all of this sits inside of approximately 4,930 square feet. In terms of the price, this home's probably gonna start you out at about $800,000. Though as we're going to be touring it, you're gonna be well over a million dollars. So with that, let's go ahead and get inside. I mean, fancy doesn't even begin to explain how nice this home is. Like, oh my goodness, just wait again. Wait until we get to the kitchen. It's got another awesome kitchen. Now, I don't know if it compares uh, quite so much to the last kitchen that we toured, but this one's still pretty nice. But anyway, I'll go ahead and turn you around. Let you check out this front entrance right here. Really nice. I love the brick accent. Uh, right here in the foyer. You've got a fun little light fixture up there Just some neat sconces to add a little mood just as soon as you walk in Then to the left you've got we'll go ahead and hop into the office uh, But I love this wall of windows right here You got a little pocket door and it's almost like a little pocket office. You know what I mean? You get in here and it's not real big but It's got plenty of windows. You're just kind of cut off from the rest of the house, which is nice so you can get in here and grind it out. But then the other thing that I thought was really cool was as soon as you come into the house, you've got this little parlor area so you can welcome your guests, kind of take them in. Nice, dark, fun green color too. It's kind of soothing, you know what I mean? I think so. But that's pretty interesting. Just we haven't seen too many parlors uh, in a lot of the homes, at least not set up like that. Now to the left hand side down this little corridor, you start working your way towards the master suite. And uh, it is pretty, pretty nice. I mean, we're getting straight into it. But don't worry, there is so much within this home. This only begins to scratch the surface, but huge master suite. I love you got the exposed beams up in the ceiling. Great big light fixture, huge windows looking out into the backyard. Just a really nice room, tons of space in here. 
like it doesn't feel crammed together this little hallway right here makes it like helps it feel nice and open you got yourself a little dry bar fun little cabinets too then past that you got a pocket door that separates the closet and this thing just kind of wraps around another nice size closet with room for all the things then in between the bedroom itself and the closet you've got the ensuite love this tub just as soon as you walk in you've got this huge tiled shower look at that you got all the jets shower heads you don't have to walk real far to turn it on and then back behind us on either side, you've got two floating vanities. Some really fun sconces up there too. And I love this. It's like a little, it's like olivey. And then the water closet. Yeah, man, both of these homes, I don't know how many they actually have in terms of models, but uh, I mean, these have been in like a class of their own but uh coming through this little archway just to the right side of the foyer i'll give you a kind of a, a a pan a little bit around and i think we're gonna go ahead we'll start over here in the great room we'll work our way around and end in the dining room and then we'll go outside but check out the size of that chandelier right there huge you got a little catwalk up top that goes to the different bedrooms. You've got this massive fireplace. And it goes all the way up to the ceiling. Then on either side, you've got these nice built-ins. Check this thing out, gas fireplace. And then just off of that, check out this island. This kitchen, man, oh man, both of their kitchens have been, it's dreamy, you know what I mean? So gorgeous island. I love the wood ceilings. Two great big pendant lights hanging down over the top of it. Now I do have to say, let's look, I might like the other kitchen just a little bit more. You'll have to, if you haven't seen that one yet, uh, you need to go check that one out. Uh, it's going to be the other one from Old World Custom Homes. But, I mean, this one, nothing to shake a stick at here, you know what I mean? So I like this. you got these little built-ins on either side of the sink over here. And for all of you that love your, your sinks up underneath of a window, I mean, technically, you got a window. <laughs> You're just not looking outside. But I wonder if these open, maybe not. I don't think they do. That would be cool though. And then it would be like a little pass through little bar area. Uh, but anyway, you got uh, panelized everything. So I think this is a dishwasher. You got panelized, which is cool. You got a little trash can drawer right here. Oop. Some trash in there. But, uh, and then on the back end, you've got some floating shelves. You've got the gas range, beautiful countertop and backsplash huge range hood and then over here you've got tons of cabinets you got a little buffet with a little beverage refrigerator down there look how big this drawer is put all the utensils right here and then all the cabinets go up to the ceiling this right here is going to be the refrigerator And then this side would be the freezer. And then the other thing, you can access it from both sides. You got the butler's pantry over here, which goes, look at all that extra counter space you got. And this sink is actually looking out your window. So that's nice. Looks like you got another little cat trash can drawer right here. Let's see, is this another refrigerator? No, 
but tons of cabinet space. Ooh, there's your microwave. Kind of hidden away. And then these things are massive also, like really deep drawers. All right, looks like you got another dishwasher right here, just to check, yep. And then this is really cool. So we've all seen pot fillers, right? But what if your dog <laughs> had a pot filler? How convenient is that? You don't have to worry about pulling the bowls up. I saw that walking around. I was like, man, that's nice. Ooh, two trash can drawers. You can, all the trash can drawers. And then as we kind of work our way down, you've got your actual pantry right here. So tons of storage space throughout this whole home. You got the pantry, you got the butler's pantry, you got the kitchen. I don't know, it might be. I like the look of the other one, but the other one didn't have a butler's pantry. So, anyway. All right, so now we're starting to work our way down towards uh, the garage area, and then we'll get back over to the dining room in a little bit. But this is the half bath, a little powder room, funky little wallpaper in here little moody sconces then next to that you've got a huge coat closet little storage closet nice little built-ins then on the opposite side get a load of this washroom how nice is this got all the cabinets in here Nice little drawers. You got the wash basin. Nice view out into the backyard or the back patio area. And then you've got space for your front load washer and dryer. Then back across the way, this is like a little mud room. So you've got plenty of space to kick off your shoes. You've got some little lockers over here. And then back behind us, you've got the three car garage. So you've got a single stall, double stall, and just plenty of room. Alrighty, let's see what else can we get into. So you do have the set of stairs, goes downstairs and upstairs. Upstairs is where all the bedrooms are. Uh, and then the downstairs here is finished as well. So you've got this almost like a gigantic little media area. So everybody can come here and just kind of do their homework. And if you're in there cooking, you can keep an eye on the kiddos. I love this brick accent wall. And then all the way through here, you've come to your formal dining room. Nice big space, plenty of windows. And then we'll access the patio from this side. You can also access it uh, from over there in the living room. But I just kind of like this area. I like this little thing right here. It's almost like a gigantic ice chest, which I thought was pretty neat. Set this up as like a little bar area. But then you've got some fun ceilings and then just plenty of room as it wraps around all the way to the back deck. You got, again, the sliding glass door, a couple light fixtures. And then let's get down here in the yard so we can check out the rear elevation. Just a, a massive, massive home, which is pretty neat. I really do. I hope uh, that they've got a few more uh, lying somewhere up here in Ohio. Maybe they got some Pennsylvania. I have to look around. That's the one thing that I do love about being in West Virginia now is we are centrally located to like everything. You got Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia. Pretty easy to get down to Georgia and South Carolina. I guess technically Northern Alabama is not too far away. And then up North, 
you know, you got Maryland, PA, Ohio, Indiana, all that fun stuff. So coming down into the basement, this is the second half bath. And this one is finished off, but there's plenty of storage down here as well. Uh, and we'll get into all of these different utility rooms. Got a little media area down here. And then back behind that, you've got this really cool uh, bar area, almost like a, like a fake barn wood. It looks pretty sharp. Got the faux stone countertop, the sink, and then some nice floating shelves. Plenty of cabinets and drawers, another little beverage refrigerator down here. And then behind this door, this is like the utility room, two water heaters, oh man. So you got the water heaters, you've got the furnace, you have a sump pump over here. And then this just kind of wraps around. I'm sure that you could probably have this thing extended if you wanted to, so your basement could just be absolutely massive. And there's still a whole nother side to this thing too. That's what that, uh, that other door is over there. So let's see what's, what's happening over here. And then we'll get upstairs and check out all those bedrooms. Yeah, so I mean, you just got Tons of additional space, whether you use it as storage or you just extend it out. You can let me know what you would do with it down in the comments. Love to hear it. Or you don't even finish the basement and you just leave it all for storage down here. Some people need it, you know what I mean? Anyway, as we work our way upstairs, if you are interested in this model or... or <laughs> little tongue twister there old world custom homes uh, you can go over to timothypeelivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country you can see if they're built in your area your price information filter based off of all of your specific criteria and find that perfect home for you but up here is where all of the bedrooms secondary bedrooms are got a fun little pendant light hanging down and then uh, let's get into them. So up first, sitting towards the front of the house, is your first bedroom. Nice little built-in bunk beds over here. Super cool. Nice little floating shelves. But nice big room. I've loved how all the windows are low. You yeah, definitely have to keep them closed if you've got little ones, but I just think it's a it's a fun look but nice size room and I think they're pretty much all that size this one they're using as an office right now it might be a, no it's about the same size the other one I think they were getting ready to sell it they were closing in a couple days or whatever so luckily we squeezed that one in and then this one they're still using as an office but into its closet, it's got the double doors. And then this one is actually a Jack and Jill, plus it's shared with this hallway right here. So this door leads into the bathroom, but we'll come out here into the hall. And let me show you this before we get too far. A little linen closet. But into the Jack and Jill, you have one vanity on this side, and then that door right here back behind us. You got the shower. And the toilet. And then you come to the second vanity, which sits over here by this other room. All of these are like massive rooms. I like this one because it's got the double, the double closets in it. 
I don't think it goes all the way down either. Oh yeah, it does. You just got two doors right here and then two doors over here, but the whole closet is attached, so. That's nice. And then across the hall, this is probably the smallest room, but it has its own private little ensuite. This one sits towards the back of the house. It's closet. Man, I should have came when somebody was here. I could have asked for a t-shirt. And then into its ensuite, single vanity. Nice little cozy shower in here. My, they don't have to be super big. They just have to have a nice shower tray that I can like move around in. I hate the, those really narrow tubs. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like my feet are so close together when I'm taking a shower. But anyway, let's get you back out over here on this catwalk, which we're just going back towards the top of the stairs over there. Uh, but you do have views down into the great room from right here. Today we're at the Richmond Homerama here in New Kent, Virginia, and we are getting ready to check out a spectacular home from Monaco Custom Homes. Say hello to the Ari. This home, y'all, it is absolutely spectacular. It features four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, sitting inside of approximately 3,869 square feet, with features including a luxurious two and a half ton Italian marble tub, Ooh, gorgeous. If you are interested in this home, it is offered at $1,375,000. And with that, let's get inside and see what all we can find. Ooh, we have arrived. Talk about a home. Y'all, I walked on, I walked inside, turning on all the lights and this thing, it's got me tickled. But this is the view that you are greeted with when you do first walk in. Got the nice uh, little catwalk up there and a set of stairs leading up to some of the secondary bedrooms and a super secret surprise. But I'll let you uh, find that once we get there. But turning you around, letting you check out the foyer. Huge two-story foyer. I love these kind of spirally chandeliers and then tons of windows in here. Red oak floors, like I've already mentioned, kind of run throughout the entire house. And then I'll go ahead and turn you around so we can get into it. Just off of the foyer, you've got this massive wine cellar right here. It's not on, so leaving the door open. It's not gonna hurt anything, but I love the color in here. I think that looks really cool. Definitely a statement piece uh, when you have your guests over and just tons of space. And then just off of that, you come into the living room, really cool looking ceiling and then a massive light fixture, big old fireplace. And check out this couch, kind of like a, a wrap around the, kind of like a half moon couch, like a little sectional, pretty cool. Views back into the kitchen. It's got some crazy stuff going in there. But uh, here in the, the living room around the fireplace, you got a little spot to, to mount the TV. And then on either end, you've got these huge built-ins and I love the open wood shelves. Got the little sconce up there. Really pretty. All right, from here, we'll go ahead and step out back before we get into too many things. You do have these doors right here that open up onto the back porch with another fireplace. Just kind of a, a cool little spot to hang out. Ooh, I didn't even see that. Uh, you got a little fire pit down there. But uh, you got another door right here that goes right into the dining room and all of that is open so you can just kind of wrap around. And then we'll hop downstairs real quick. Check out the rear elevation. 
But yeah, kind of cool little fireplace set back over here in the woods. I love the dark siding. It's been a hot minute since we've gotten into a home with a nice dark siding. It just really makes like the wood accents around the home kind of pop. It's just something, something I'm into, you know what I mean? But from here, we'll go ahead and get back inside and get over to the kitchen which is a kitchen island right there. Look at all the stuff. Even on this side where you've got the seats, you've got plenty of drawers. Beautiful countertops and then check out, <laughs> that's a light fixture right there. It's just got like a bunch of little different size balls all hanging off of this like basket on the inside of it. Pretty neat. But plenty of room for some seats and then coming around to the far side see we've got the dishwasher kind of a fun apron sink right here got the black and gold well that's probably not a good one to open but there's stuff in that one i was trying to look to see how how deep they are but then on the back side you've got this gas range with the range hood Nice pot filler, cool little tile backsplash. And then a plenty of cabinets going all the way around the home. Then on the far side, you've got tons of counter space over here for like your appliances. Definitely, I mean, just look at all the crock pot space. Well, mostly over here, I guess there's no outlets on the far side, but you've got a built-in microwave, the refrigerator. Oh, there is, there is some outlets, they were hidden, they were hidden. And then through this doorway, and we'll get to the other door. It's got, a, it's got a huge pantry. We'll get there. This is the mud room. Got a neat little kind of drop zone area. And then through this door right here, you've got the three-car garage. So kind of wraps around. You've got the two-car stall right here. And then over here, you've got the single stall. And then as you come back in, you've got the laundry room. Now, the thing I love about the laundry room, let's see if I can do it. I was, let's see, I'll point these out too. They don't even have, actually have light fixtures in the house. They're like these little buttons like that. But it's got these kind of accent lights right up underneath of the cabinets. And I just thought that was pretty neat. But you've got washer dryer hookups and then beautiful sink. That's nice, I'd like to have that in the kitchen. I think that would look super sharp. And then on the opposite side of the kitchen, you've got this sliding barn door right here that leads into this pantry, which is really nice. It's got this window right here with pretty views back out into the woods. I thought that was nice. And then just off of the pantry, you've got the dining room. Again, the door going out onto the back porch, but just plenty of space. Got like, they, they added a little brick in here. It's tile, but it just, it's a cool look. You know what I mean? And then you've got these kind of moody sconces kind of on either side of the window. I think that looks pretty neat. And then on the opposite side, so this is just kind of off of the foyer when you first walk into the home. You got this little kind of doorway. This is almost like an entire, I guess not necessarily the master suite, but there's a lot happening in here and uh, it all kind of leads to the master suite. But you've got a gym room. I guess this could be like a bonus room too. But this home's already got tons of of bedrooms. It's got its own ensuite with the I like that a lot. How it kind of takes the tile from the floor, wraps it up to the ceiling like an accent wall. 
That's really cool. So nice big shower. And then really nice vanity. And there's even a little closet in here too. So could definitely be a bedroom where you just put like towels and stuff, you know, workout clothes or whatever. These walls too, man, this thing, check how trippy that is. <laughs> it's kind of cool. But a uh, little powder room, fun little sink. Check that out, a little different. And you've got the fancy toilet. That's pretty much, pretty much that. Nice dark walls. And then this just kind of wraps around and leads into the master bedroom. So coffered ceilings, really nice, almost like a latticey accent wall back there. Big old chandelier. Ooh, I didn't even turn those lights on. Little sconces on either side of the bed. All right, and then into the ensuite, you've got this nice sliding door that leads into it as well. But then this is that two and a half ton marble tub. Whew. That is nice. Look how big that backrest is. You just get lost in this tub. That's wild. But then you've got uh, double vanity. So one on this side, one on the opposite side. Another great big shower with another fun tile. That's really cool. We got the huge rainfall shower head, kind of a removable shower head. The water closet. And then all the way at the back, you've got the master closet. And then it kind of wraps around back behind the door a little bit. with a little extra room. All right, so from here, we gotta go upstairs, which has a few more little gems. But uh, if you are interested in this model or you wanna learn more about Monaco Custom Homes, you can click that link right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country, filter, by number of bedrooms, state, square footage, price, all different types of things. Find that perfect dream home for you. All right, so a lot of things up here. Nice little bookshelf just as you get up to the top of the stairs with this little sconce. What? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I didn't shut the door all the way because I didn't want to lock it and me not be able to get in here and show it to you. But that's pretty neat, you know what I mean? You fill that thing with some books, some heirlooms, some decor items, and uh, people might not be the wiser. This would probably be a cool little safe room too. Being that they're custom, you know what I mean? You could have that, that door. I think it's just, this is just wood right now. No, that's metal. No, that's wood. Just kidding. But I'm sure that you could get one of those big old heavy duty metal doors. And you've got the furnace in here. But right now it's just an office. Kind of sits up towards the front side of the house. Cool little desk. And then just next to that, you come up to the first of the bedrooms up here. Nice little closet. And I think each one of these bedrooms have their own en-suites.
man, I am loving the tiles in, the, in this home. I like little fish scales, little mermaid scales. Let's see. All right, and then as you kind of work your way down the hall, I guess kind of just to the left as you get up to the stairs, you've got another closet up here. Maybe like a little linen closet for everybody. Then you have this really nice bonus room, like a little game room. Ooh, it's got like the, what are those? The little salt rock lights up there. But it also has the French doors that lead into it. Yeah, these homes are, these homes are nice. They're on a, a whole nother level. I get to do this one and one other one. I don't know, I don't think that one's by uh, Monaco. I'm not sure who that's by, but I'm gonna hop into that one next. They all have like super cool exterior packages and stuff and I'm just excited. But into the closet, perfectly set up for all the games. And then this one is attached to the same ensuite uh, that the next bedroom is. But we're going to go and hit that up out here just so you can kind of have an idea. It sits at the end of the hall. Little closet as soon as you walk in. Definitely not a little closet. This is actually bigger than the last one that we came in. I love like the, the batten strips everywhere. Kind of neat. But really nice size rooms too. Very open. And then into the ensuite. Got the shower and tub. And this home was nice. What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in Medina, Ohio, and we are getting ready to check out a spectacular home from Old World Custom Home. So let me turn you around. I'll tell you all about it. Y'all need to fasten your seatbelts for this one. This thing has got a kitchen to die for. Like the island has its own little pet island. You know what I mean? Like you can pull it out and it's a nice little cutting board. But anyway, so this is the Stone Crest, again by Old World Custom Homes, brand new builder for us. And this home features four bedrooms, three full bathrooms, two half bathrooms, a four car garage, and all of that is sitting inside of approximately 4,078 square feet. Now, when it comes to the price of this home, it does start in the low 700,000s, but with all of the finishes, like the finished basement, and just some of uh, the nicer selections throughout this home, it's probably gonna be up in the millions. Alrighty, so nice foyer. Just as soon as you walk in, you're gonna see a lot of wood throughout this home, like wood accents and uh, a lot of like uh, darker metal, almost iron type uh, fixtures, which is pretty neat. But great big space here in the foyer itself. Very grand feeling. I love how you've got the doorway right here framed with, with this nice natural looking wood. You got the tile on the floor and then just plenty of space to, to kind of put things. And then as soon as you walk in around the corner, you've got a little coat closet and we just kind of begin to get into things. So quaint little coat closet, not real big, but just the right amount of space if you have guests over. And then next to that, you've got this little powder room right here. And I say little, but it's actually quite spacious it's very wide you got a great big vanity some fun little sconces on either side and that's the only lights in here so it's definitely moody and then from there you enter into the living room which 
has this gorgeous fireplace. The ceilings in the living room aren't quite as tall as like the, the dining room and kitchen area, but still absolutely incredible. This is the focal point for me. Like I look at this fireplace and I'm just like, oh my goodness. I love how you got the cutouts on either side so you could put like stack all your wood and then it just kind of goes all the way up to the ceiling. Get you over here in the corner so you can check it out. So really nice and spacious feeling. It has some beautiful floors running all the way throughout it. Uh, definitely complements the beams going throughout the home. And then, well, I've already teased you a little bit with the kitchen. The kitchen, the kitchen is it. So we're gonna, that's the bee's knees back there. So we're gonna go ahead and go over here and spill the beans on the master bedroom, which sits just to the right of the fireplace. And this thing is over here on this side of the house all by its lonesome. Nice big master bedroom. You've got the huge tray ceiling again with the wood accents. Plenty of windows going throughout here. Just a really nice room. I like the chandelier. Looks neat. And then from there you come into the ensuite. Gorgeous soaking tub sitting in between the two vanities. And you've got some almost lightsabery looking sconces on either side of the mirror. Backside, you got a huge walk-in closet with the tile going all the way up to the ceiling. Ooh, you got the double shower heads, you got the removable shower head, you got the jets over here. The thing is a fancy. Let's see what's behind the door. A linen closet. Little, I say little a lot, it's just what it is. <laughs> if it don't look little and I still say little, it's just because it's habit. You got the water closet. And then all the way at the back, you've got this great big walk-in closet, but this actually sits right up towards the front of the house. So it's at the back of the ensuite, but at the front of the house, kind of uh, probably right behind this wall would be your foyer, so. This thing is gigantic. All right, now, y'all, I am so excited about this kitchen. I walked in here just to set my stuff up, looking around for some information on the home. Um, and I was just walking by and I, I saw this little doohickey. And I was like, what in the world could that be? So I pulled on it and it opened up into this. How cool is that? So you got like a huge little cutting board right here. Now I want you to check out how close this is. You've got your gas grill and you've got your cutting board. So you can just be sitting here and then throw it into your frying pan and you are good to go. So that is super sweet. It's even got the hidden trash can drawer. Got some shelves on this side, maybe some spice racks. I don't know if we'll find any or not, but then it just tucks away nice and neat inside of the island. So anyway, that tickled me a little bit. On this side, you got a little drink refrigerator, or you can put your wine bottles in there. Got some trays that slide out from these cabinets. So I'm banging things around. Don't go, don't go breaking a million dollar home, Tim. <laughs> uh, that would be the stuff, you know what I mean? That would scare the crap out of me. You got your microwave over here on this side of the island, and then we'll kind of work our way back around. So again, you've got uh, the range. You've got this huge range hood. Couple cabinets on this side, not too many. All of the big cabinets sit on the opposite side over there. And then let me back up a little bit so you can check this out. So behind us, you've got a couple more of these trusses, but they're all exposed with the great big light fixtures. 
and all that fun stuff. So very grandiose here in the kitchen. Countered kind of wrap up into the backsplash, which looks super cool. Man, where are the spice racks at? Ooh, these are nice too. You can pick these up and move them. Now I wonder, cause these are over here, can I? Ooh, I bet if I pulled this whole thing out, I could shift them all down. Is that it? Can I get to them all? Oh, ho, ho, ho. there we go. It's got a little handle over here. I don't have it all the way. There we go. Man, oh man, this, this thing has got it all. Now let's see if I can put this contraption back. So that slides in, then that slides over, and then this slides back in. Oh man, I'm in love. All right, cool. I'm glad we found another trash can drawer too, because I was going to say that the one right up underneath of the cutting block uh, would have been a pain in the neck just to keep opening that whole thing up. Got some pendant lights hanging down, looking out into the front yard. Beautiful undermount sink with another little chopping block over here. Tons and tons of, what is this? Dishwasher. Yep. So it's got the dishwasher's got the panel on it. That means one of these have to be the refrigerator. But we've got some other things too. You've got a little fancy little bread box or appliance garage. Any mini, are they both? Oh, oh man. All right, geeking out on this kitchen. This is by far the coolest kitchen we've ever toured, for sure. Now, I started to open this up and I think that this is a, oh, it just pushes a whole pantry. Oh man. And that one really is hidden. Like there's, I would have thought that that could have been some more cabinets, but so super nice a little Heidi pantry in here. And then, oh my goodness, even more little pull out drawers. Now, none of these cabinets go all the way up, nor, I mean, you would need a ladder to put some stuff up there, but gorgeous kitchen. All right, then, Past that, you've got I don't, it's two different dining room tables sitting right next to each other. So maybe this is just kind of like a place you sit and kind of hang out. I don't know which one's the fancy dining table and which one's not, but it looks like you socialize a lot in this house. Got some pendant lights, more exposed trusses. Sometimes I just, some of these homes, they get me. I love them. Just to have the opportunity to be able to kind of peruse through homes like this makes me happy. Anyway, all right, coming out onto the back porch, you've got a nice little ceiling up here, kind of a big space. You put a little grill out here, a little seating area, and just kind of hang out. And then we'll get back here and check out the rear elevation of the home. So it looks like they've got hardy lap siding back here on the back. They had a lot of stucco and stone up on the front. But another great big home. We just toured one a little while ago. It was kind of the same color palette on the exterior. And, uh, but when you walked out back, like it looked like, it might've been a couple videos back, like a compound. This one I like, it actually looks like the back of a house. All right, so. We've still got tons and tons of stuff to get into. Let's see. All right, so sticking downstairs, you've got an office right here. You've got the French doors. And this office, it is massive. Got a super cool light fixture. Great big windows. Some llamas or alpacas, I'm not real sure which.
getting ready to start doing up our office. Jen gave me the reins uh, to do with it what I will. So pretty excited about that. I'm not sure. I've got some ideas. We've already picked out the color. It's gonna be like a dark navy blue. You know, I need to get to my, my little zen place when I'm in there working, but other than that, super excited. But coming into, this is like your, your mud room. You've got all these lockers. You've got some storage down here on the bottom. Back behind us, got a little place to drop the keys with tons more storage. This is your junk mail drawer. <laughs> and then some more cabinets. Let's see, huge closet. Store all your winter stuff or seasonal items in here. Or just your shoes and jackets. This is like your own personal coat room. And then the other one up by the front door was for your guests. Through this door, you come into the garage. So you got four car stalls in here. Nice and big. Let's see, I don't think there's any anything super special in there. Sometimes there's little hidey rooms. Let's see, what else do we have? Another storage closet. There is a bunch of storage in here though. And then coming into the laundry room. So plenty of cabinets, you got a nice big wash basin. I like this wood up here too. I think that looks really good with the black. And back behind us, you've got space for washer and dryer. Then a little folding table up above that. Love it. A little spot to hang up all of your freshly pressed garments. And then just tons of storage. And I like the tile too. Almost like a, a soapstone kind of sleet gray thing happening. All right, upstairs, downstairs. Upstairs, we'll go upstairs. So upstairs, this is where uh, the three secondary bedrooms are. And all of this sits, of course, on the opposite side from the master bedroom. But when you get up to the top of the stairs, you've got your first bedroom door right here, and then a little corridor that uh, has a few things happening throughout it, but we'll get to that. Coming into the first bedroom, this one sits up towards the front of the house. Fun little light fixture. Nice big step-in closet. Kind of goes all the way down. Both of these are like full-size doors too. Just to give you kind of an idea of how big it is. And then this one is connected to the other bedroom via this Jack and Jill. Got these really nice these are like Jen's favorite colored cabinets. I think that's what we're gonna be doing in our house as well, but she wants to do with the gold pools. But anyway, enough of that. You got uh, a vanity on either side. And into the water closet, you got the shower. Toilet pocket door. And then into the second bedroom. So pretty much the same size. I think closets are about the same. And then just off of this one, there's like a little sitting room, a little loft area, a little game room. Somewhere for the kids to hang out. And then across the hall you come to, now this bedroom is a lot bigger. This is the third bedroom. Ooh, I think this one's like its own suite. Yeah, I didn't even turn these lights on. Oop, that's the fan. Oop. 
So it's got its little ensuite. Nice little moody light above the vanity. And then its own shower. And then all the way at the end, let's see if I can turn this on, not blind you, is its closet. Nice little walk-in closet. Looks like you got some type of attic access in here as well. Let's see what else. There's one more thing up here and that is this huge little study area. You can do all their schoolwork, got some fun little light fixtures up above that. Then from here, we'll go ahead and work our way downstairs. However, if you are interested in this model, or any of the models that we've toured across the country, uh, you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area, you can filter them down based off of number of bedrooms, square footage, layout, type of home, whether you're looking for site built, manufactured, modular, all that different stuff. And uh, you can find that perfect home for you. So down here at the bottom of this basement, this has got all different types of stuff going on. But right at the bottom of the stairs, this one anyway, has plenty of unfinished storage space. This is also where all of your utilities are. So you've got, let's see, you've got a water heater over here. You've got your furnace. There's a water treatment station. And then you've got all the electrical components and a sump pump down here as well. It's like two sump pumps. Now, I'm sure this uh, could be customized. So if you didn't want this much space, I'm sure they could fix it up a little bit different. But then the finished portion, this is where you'll find the second half bath, little powder room, whatever you want to call it. But you got your vanity, nice gray, another little moody one. I like it. I like it a lot. There is a big old wet bar. Now this, I feel like this needs to be something. Needs to be like a little secret door somewhere, but there's not. Anyway, so you've got a huge island, plenty more cabinets and drawers down here. Got your little sink, another little beverage refrigerator, and plenty of places to sit on this side. And then along the back side, man, you have uh, plenty of counter space back here. You can put all your, your drinks, your mixins, all that fun stuff. I really like this too. Gives it, a, gives it a little age. Is it like patina? I think that's, might be patina, might not be, I don't know. Anyway, and then all the way at the back, they put themselves a little kind of media area. So I'll come down here and have movie nights. There's even more storage behind this door, which is basically, see, I would, some of this stuff, I mean, some storage is good, but I think the other side would have been plenty. But I guess over the years, you start to accumulate stuff, and then five years from now, you'll look at all this and be like, dang, it, <laughs> I need more storage space. But anyway, and then you've got these columns right here that kind of separate the bar area from a little game room area, which is super cool. Today we're in Raleigh, North Carolina, and we're getting ready to check out another brand new home from Raleigh Custom Homes. Let me get you outside, I'll tell you all about it. 
All right, y'all. So they got another beautiful batch of homes ready for us to tour, and I'm so excited about it. Fresh back from Alabama, back down here in North Carolina. And look at this, already a beautiful home. So this is 1404 Sky Vista. We have been in this community a number of times, and uh, I love all of their homes. This one, it happens to feature five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, a three-car garage, and all of that sitting inside of approximately 6,060 square feet. The home itself is sitting on a lot of approximately just a little over an acre, but it has this beautiful front porch right here, brick and lap, hardy plank siding on the front side of the home. Absolutely beautiful. If you are interested in this home, it is currently listed for $2.575 million. But with that, let's get inside and see what all we can find. All right, here we go. Now, I've already walked through this home and I am in love with the pantry. And I think you guys are also gonna love it. But a uh, quick little view as you walk in, and then I'll go ahead and turn you around real quick. Let you check out the front entryway. And you know, there's always something special we gotta show off. Of course, you see the, the glass panes right there as you walk through the door. And then with a click of a button, let's see, I got it, power maybe. Oh, there it is. You got some privacy glass. So that's nice, I always like that feature. Just a little on off switch. And then just off of that, it looks like you've got a coat closet with some beautiful wood shelves, nice hanging dowel. And then the floor is in here running throughout. I think most of the home, I don't think there's really any carpet in this home and it is beautiful. From there, we'll go ahead and we're going to stick. Let's start in the kitchen. Because this thing is, it's beautiful. I haven't been any further really past the kitchen, a little bit into the mud room, but not too much. But beautiful, beautiful kitchen. And uh, my favorite thing, I probably should have shut the door, uh, is the pantry. But huge island right here. You've got some under island storage right here on the front side. Plenty of counter space. Up above it, some nice big pendant lights with those kind of gold accents. A really nice dark, rich wood tone on both the island and some of the cabinets. Kind of breaking up that, that white cabinetry a little bit. You know what I mean? And I like that a lot. On this side, you've got a built-in microwave. Even more storage space. You put some shelves in there. It looks like it's set up for that. But no sink. So you can sit over here. You can prep, socialize. Take in that uh, beautiful fireplace over there. You actually have two of them. So you got one here in the living room. And then if you can kind of see the one out on the patio too. Both of them are, are going. Which is nice. Still a little chilly. It is, uh, it's starting to warm up though. I'm excited about it. I'm ready for spring. And then on the back side, of course, you've got, this is the dishwasher one right here. I think this is the ice machine. Yeah. And then you've got your undermount sink looking out into the backyard. Now, Raleigh Custom Homes has started designing their own pool. So this backyard is uh, getting, I think they said that they're gonna put an infinity pool back there. So that would be pretty cool. Tons of outdoor space. You got the little trash can drawer right here the window of course slides all the way open we've seen this in pretty much every raleigh custom home maybe we, we've ever toured but really nice feature just because you know you got somebody out there on the grill this can be a little bar area right here and you can just you know hand stuff out without having to go all the way around people can take the plates and you can put them right in the dishwasher Along the back side, you've got tons of white cabinets, great big gas range. Some kind of almost weathered looking 
tile backsplash. Of course, I love the range hood. I think that looks beautiful. Just a lot of space. Spice Rex, check. Yes. Well, this side would be for all your utensils. And then on the opposite side, see, that, that's what gets me going right there. Already hitting the, the favorites list, you know, that dream checklist that I've got in my head. And then, of course, all the way at the end, you've got this beautiful china cabinet right here, which looks really good. Tons of drawers in here as well. All right, so you do have this pantry. Let's shut the door just to kind of, this is a full on butler's pantry. And we're gonna, I'm gonna look at the refrigerator real quick, but there you go, nice hidden pantry right there, tucked away. I feel like I spoiled it a little bit by leaving the door open, but that's all right. This refrigerator is also something else. Check this out. So all panelized. Let's open this bad boy up and see what it looks like. Tons of room. And I think these are all freezer drawers. Yeah, I think so. They feel pretty cold. Well, that's pretty neat. You got four of those, two sides to the refrigerator. Ooh, what else could you ask for? It's the pantry. That's what else you could ask for. So you've got another kind of a wet bar in here uh, as you work your way into the pantry. Like I said, this thing is like a fully self-contained butler's pantry. You've got the little prep sink, another dishwasher, some nice open shelves. And then as you continue to work your way uh, all the way into the pantry itself, on this side, you've got plenty of room for all of your dry goods, you know, different things that you would store here in the pantry. You've got an additional refrigerator. And then back behind us, you've got like a little dry bar area. Maybe turn this into a folding table. And I say that because one side is a pantry and the other side is like a, like a little laundry room. It's got room for stackable washer and dryer in here, which is pretty neat. Like I said, it's like a legit butler's pantry, like if you had a butler. And then this is I guess drying racks and then a little spot to to hang your clothes and stuff. I've never seen any of these before. What are these? They just, ooh, they just pull all the way out. So what you do is just lay the clothes out that aren't supposed to get dried on there. I'm not sure. I've never had the privilege of a drying rack before. Seems like it would be nice. But anyway. We'll go ahead and continue on back here towards the back of the house. You've got the, the mud room, this nice little bench right here, tons of storage all the way around it. And then we'll come, the garage door is back behind us. We'll come back to that in just a minute as we work our way back up. But all the way at the end of the hall, you got this other great big closet right here. More room for some storage. And then all the way at the end of the hall, I think this is a bedroom. Yeah. I haven't looked at, at the floor plan at all on this when I walked in here. And uh, it's like, yep, looks, looks good to me. <laughs> but, uh, Really nice sized room. I love the window array back behind us, looking out to see if there was a pool back there. That would be your view back into the pool. Even right now, how it's set up with the woods, I think that is awesome as well. And then this one's got its own ensuite with the single vanity. Huge mirror, that thing is massive. The toilet, really pretty tile. And then it's got the shower, the tile going all the way up to the ceiling. Nice big shower head. And then you've even got a bench towards the back. And then 
It also has a walk-in closet. I get in these rooms sometimes and they just got, they've got so much stuff going on. Like just there, I was getting ready to walk out of the room and forgot, you know, I haven't been in the closet yet. Got the matching uh, grates for the air conditioner. And then this door right here, right before you get back out to the kitchen, is the garage. So you've got three stalls out here. You've got a single and a double. You've got an access door out into the backyard. And I think you've got the electric panels. I think that's about it in here. Tons of room. see any attic space in there. Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and we're going to let's take a look at this dining room real quick and then we'll transition out onto the back patio and then come inside, finish it off here in the common spaces with the living room and then we'll go find some other some other bedrooms. I haven't even been upstairs yet but really big light fixture right here. I like that it's kind of in between. You've got the windows out front, you've got the windows out the back, just tons of light. I like that a lot. The doors right here open all the way up so you could really enjoy some indoor outdoor living uh, in the spring, fall and summer months. And if you did want to hang out here in a little bit cooler time of year, uh, it's, they've got some heaters out here along with this uh, beautiful fireplace which you can hear roaring right now really nice surround and then again these uh these nice wood ceilings which i've been seeing a lot of and i'm kind of a fan of we've seen them inside we've seen them out on porches i love that you've got some more uh, outdoor dining space out here as well a set of stairs just i didn't even see that just uh, to the right of the fireplace that go out into the backyard. And of course, you've got the screens. I don't think these are automatic screens. These are just uh, screens in place. But you can get the, the automatic ones with, not automatic, but you know, the remote screens and stuff. We've been seeing a lot of that, uh, especially from Raleigh, love it. And then you've got this great big outdoor space uh, with the huge grill, nice little bar area. And in this door, I don't know what this is. Oh, hold on. Let me close the toilet lid real quick. I didn't even know this existed. <laughs> so you got a outdoor powder room. You got the toilet. Nice little chandelier out here. I like this a lot. You don't have to go traipsing inside. Even like, say you did get the pool back there, you know what I mean? You've got this outdoor bathroom that everybody can utilize. You don't have to worry about grabbing a towel or uh, taking water throughout the house. That's nice. All right. Then from here, well, let's go ahead and hop back into the living room. Because we've still got tons to get into. This home is just, it goes on for days. I love it. All right. Living room. Fireplace. Check. Great big built-ins on either side. Love it. Backlit also, very nice. Ceiling fan, unique, stylish. Kind of a cool look to it. Oh, and I even like the, the fireplace surround too. I think that looks really good. And this thing is warm. It's very nice and toasty. Yeah, cool little surround. And then you've got some storage up underneath uh, all the built-ins. And then from here, I'll go ahead and give you a good pan throughout all of the common spaces and back into that beautiful kitchen. And from here, you've got, it's kind of broken up a little bit with this column, but you've got the set of stairs with another beautiful window array back behind it, but that wraps up to the second floor. You've got plenty of room down here. This would make for like a cool little reading nook. You know what I mean? Put like some little bean bags down here, maybe. 
something like that. But then you also have another powder room just off of all of that, not too far from the front door. Another cool little light fixture, the toilet, and then check out this vanity. If I can get in here so you can get a good look at it. It's got those huge knobs on it. Kind of almost like a, a vintage look, I guess, with the cool little mirror back behind it. And then all the way at the end, you've got a first floor master, beautiful, beautiful cathedral ceilings, the exposed beams, great big light fixture, humongous windows, ones on either side even crank out. That's nice. Just a lot of room in here. Like the room is, it feels like a standard size, you know what I mean? It's not like super big in terms of a master bedroom. It's comfortable, it's cozy. But these ceilings in here, whoo, they really make it feel grand. And then just off of that, of course, it's got its own ensuite. Got the little soaking tub sitting out in front of the shower. Double vanities. Let's see if I can get over here and get into this closet. So you got that one vanity right there. And then you've got another vanity right here. I think they're both pretty similar. Uh, one is not bigger than the other. But over here you've got the water closet, which houses the toilet. And then this humongous shower. So zero threshold, love that. Got several shower heads. Got a rainfall shower head, a removable wand shower head. You got the bench back there. And then of course, you know, the tile going all the way up to the ceiling. Then the other cool thing that it has in here is a his and her closet. I guess we'll go ahead and start over here. This one is, I think the bigger of the two. It's got these nice built-ins. It's got windows in either side, letting in tons of light. Got a full length mirror over there, some little hang hooks. Tons of space. And then this one, let's see, is this one just as big? No, of course not. Still a good size closet with all the built-ins. Tons of room. We, uh, <laughs> we've been living in our house now for oh, seven months, something like that. And we've been uh, utilizing different closet space because we haven't had any dressers or anything. Uh, we've been waiting for, Jen's wanting to go with, you know, like a, a rustic farmhouse theme. So we've, we've been looking around, we found some older style dressers and stuff, and we finally pulled the trigger on it. Because our closet, the closet in our bedroom, um, it's, it's pretty much non-existent. It's enough for her to put a few of her clothes. So it's nice to finally get those dressers in and to have a little bit of space. So I like that. I mean, I would love to have those closets down there though. You know what I mean? But anyway, up top, we have a little landing area that leads off in two several different directions. You got the French doors right here with the nice glass paneling that opens up into like a movie theater room, a bonus area. It's got a little wet bar over here with the beverage refrigerator and a little sink. More windows looking out into the front of the house. This is kind of in a dormer, which is pretty neat. Another little cool little reading nook, you know what I mean? But you can do a number of things up here, I'm sure, turn it into a game room, kids play area, all that type of stuff. Oh my goodness, this thing, <laughs> this thing goes for a day. We're gonna be in here for a minute. Might wanna go pop some more popcorn. I just looked down that hallway and whoo. Five rooms, this thing might have a hundred rooms in it. But this is uh, the first of the bedrooms up on the second floor. Cool little 
built-in desk area. I like that a lot. I think the white, and it's not like a, it's just like a natural wood color. You know what I mean? Looks pretty good. I like those two colors together. I like the, I feel like a darker woods. I like that on the floor. Uh, the lighter woods, I like it for trim and accent pieces, personally. But this is the closet. Again, plenty more built-ins. And then, all right, so this one has a Jack and Jill. This is the door right here. I'll give you a little peek. But I think I wanna work down the hall and come back through uh, that bedroom and into the Jack and Jill, just so we don't get lost. You know what I mean? I feel like that would get really confusing. Um, this is another half bath, a little powder room, uh, which sits just outside of that first bedroom that we went into. And that's why, like, we could get really confused. So, single vanity toilet. And then from here, we'll start working our way down the hall. Got a gym room. Didn't, didn't expect this one. Kind of set up like a little yoga room right now. This might be the only carpet in the whole house. But again, nice windows looking out into the front yard. And then on the opposite side, you've got the second floor laundry room with washer dryer hookups. I was trying to think, I guess uh, downstairs, those two bedrooms, or maybe one was an office, I'm not, I guess they're two bedroom, but uh, they would use the, the one in the pantry. And then of course, all these bedrooms would use, oh no, there's an office up here. All right. So this is the second of the two bedrooms. This is almost, it's identical, just flipped to the first bedroom that we saw on the other side. It's closet, and I think it is same thing, which is pretty neat. Sometimes there's always a little, when I go to do the, you know, the room sizes, there's always a little something like these rooms are never exact, but these two look look pretty exact. You got a little linen closet in between the two. Ooh, with some pull outs. In between the two vanities. And then this little thing doesn't quite go all the way up to the ceiling. And then back behind us, you've got the water closet with a custom tub and tile surround. Kind of cool color. A little baby blue, almost powdery blue. Kind of a fun tub too, a little square. It's nice to not see the, you know, those like round tubs. Alabama, Ooh. Those tubs, uh, I wasn't quite sure how I felt about those tubs. But you wanna know how I feel about this office space? <laughs> Love it. So again, cathedral ceilings. I mean, this is this might be my perfect office. I mean, talk about feeling like a boss. You know what I mean? I'm trying to, I want to get you a view down here, but I just keep looking up at the ceiling. I like the wood, check. It's got all that stuff. More windows, huge light fixture and just tons of space. I definitely, uh, I definitely like this. I'd like to see it downstairs though, you know, closer to the master bedroom. So I don't have to go real far to do any work. It's kind of like my quiet space up here. I feel like there would be a lot of, a lot of activity. You know what I mean? But then, uh, hmm, I wonder if there's like a little library, a little kid's reading room maybe. This is interesting. I've lost track of all the rooms. I don't I think we've seen two bedrooms up here. There's two downstairs, so we might have one more bedroom to get into. But this is a cool little space. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. Just 
tons of places to put books. And having your own designated, or maybe you homeschool your kids, this one could be like the little school area. That would be neat too. You know, we, we homeschool ours, and that would be like perfect. Like there's no distractions, like, you know what I mean? Right now we, we use our dining room table where we do our school stuff for the kids during the day. And that's kind of like in the center of the house and you know, there may be a bunch of other things happening that could otherwise distract them or us, you know, working with them. So having your own space is nice. So this is the fifth bedroom, beautiful ceilings, almost like a ship uh, accent up there. Pretty neat, plenty of windows. Ooh, there's a fancy bath or closet right there. So you've got uh, the ensuite with the single vanity and the vanity lines, the toilet, and a standalone shower. Again, tile going all the way up to the ceiling. Got the cool like river rock shower tray, which is nice. Little bench at the back. And then this closet, man, this might be the fanciest closet in here. You got this whole makeup vanity. with tons of shelving space. I think it keeps going too. I don't know what's back there yet, but is there more? Yeah, so it just kind of keeps on going. A little bit of extra shelves back here. So that's nice. Today we're back in Raleigh, North Carolina, and we're getting ready to tour another absolutely stunner from Raleigh Custom Homes. This one is called Connie's Making It Rain, and Connie, whoo, you certainly are making it rain. This home is beautiful. No, beyond beautiful. I probably should have packed a suit, so it's that nice. Anyway, this home features an absolute extraordinary amount of stuff from this beautiful kitchen right here with the built-in spice racks on either side of the oven to a full-blown scullery, which until today I never even knew what that was. Got a yoga room, a massage parlor, and a gorgeous master suite. Now, as far as the normal specs that I typically give you, this home does have five bedrooms, five full bathrooms, two half bathrooms, and a three-car garage. All of that sitting inside of approximately 5,804 square feet. So there is a lot to cover today. For the outside of this beautiful home is done up in a very nice brick. It is often subtle in color on the exterior. It does have some really dramatic gables and super tall windows on the front of the home. And one of my favorite features is you're walking up to the front door, you have these two gas sconces with like the gas flame in it, and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Another cool thing that I absolutely love is that we've been seeing so many garages on the front side of the home, where this one is off to the left-hand side, kind of hidden away. So looking at the front elevation, you never even know it's there, which is super cool. As you move around to the back of the home, you do have a great big covered porch. It has the screens that move up and down remotely which is super nice. And this one, instead of having the accordion style glass door out onto the back porch, this one actually has sliders so you can slide it much easier all the way open and still get that nice indoor outdoor feel, get that breeze in the summertime, just perfect. Now, as far as the price of this home, it is currently listed for $3,785,000. Of course, if you had something similar built, that price may or may not be the price that you pay due to your own specific design choices, lot, market conditions, etc. However, if you would like more information on this model or any of the models that we've toured across the country, you can use the Find My Floor Plan Finder on our website at timothyplivingston.com to filter homes based on your specific needs. It's all 100% free, so definitely go check that out. You can find the link for that down in the description. Yoo-hoo, family! <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. So, oh my goodness, this home, we've got a lot to get into. So when you do first walk in, 
This is the view that you are greeted with. Great big two-story foyer looking up to the second floor with these banisters going all the way up. And then I will go ahead and turn you around and let you check out the entrance. So great big windows, especially going up the staircase right here. And then this, we saw it on another one earlier too. It is an iron door, a custom iron door, which is super nice, super heavy too. And one of the things, I'm gonna open it back up just to kind of point it out to you. I like this, this is one of the coolest features. So it's just got a little hidden key thing. So little keyhole tucked away neatly. That's just one of the things that I saw and immediately liked. So from the foyer, you've got several different places you can go to. We're gonna go ahead and check out the dining room real quick just because it's super cool looking. I like the light fixture, kind of, I don't almost like a little halo is what it looks like and I like that a lot. And then the ceiling's got a little, little design to them. Nice little blue color in here, but great big space. And y'all, sits, this, this little scullery thing I was talking about in the beginning, sits right off of the side. And you do have, I didn't turn them on. You got uh, these two sconces over here on either side of the window as well. So these homes, all of these homes are nice. Like this whole area is just chock full of like gigantic, gorgeous homes. <laughs> and I wish I could tour every single one of them. So from the foyer, you come into your great room and you do have two fireplaces actually, and they're both kind of, you can probably kind of see them. One on the outside, one right here on the inside. Another great big fun light fixture. And then just a, a nice gas fireplace, nice tile surround. It's almost got like some sparkles in it. Like you ever seen like a fancy new bass boat? Kind of looks like that. Nice mantle up here too. And then on either side, I haven't opened these up yet. There are some pretty big built-ins. And then everything, every single door, cabinet, everything in here is soft closed, which is super nice. And then we'll go ahead and uh, let's hop outside real quick before we get going too far. But like I said, this whole door right here slides all the way open and just allows for you to kind of have an indoor outdoor atmosphere going on. But you got this great big fireplace. And I like the lights on this side too. Well, you know, on either side of it, just kind of like a little backlight, which looks neat. Nice brick. We've been, you know, we haven't toured, a lot of the models we've been touring lately, they don't have any brick. This one's kind of got a little bit of brick and stucco um, out here. Nice ceilings as well. And then you've got, like I said, almost like a complete outdoor kitchen. Got a nice little dining table right here too. And the pool. You know, I, I never wanted a pool. Like it's, I love swimming in pools, but I don't want the maintenance of a pool. You know what I mean? That just seems like a headache. I mean, I guess you could hire someone, you know what I mean? But, uh, I'll leave the, I always want to just leave the pools for vacations. Anyway, got a little trash can drawer right here. That's neat. And a little refrigerator. And we've been seeing more of these. I love them. These are the outdoor, I didn't turn the light on this one. Let's see. You have these outdoor bathrooms, which is super nice. Got a single vanity in here. Got a little light fixture up there as well. Try not to trip. And then this is a kind of a fun little wallpaper too. It goes with everything. Yeah, I've been a super fan of these outdoor bathrooms because I mean, you spend a lot of time out here and if you just got guests and you don't want them, you know, traipsing through the house and stuff, I think it's perfect. Anyway, um, so we're gonna stick to the kitchen side and then there's a whole bunch of other stuff on the other side of the fireplace as well. So first and foremost on this side, I mean, look at all that stuff, all the cabinetry, the backsplash going all the way up to the ceiling. And then you've got 
nice stainless undermount sink looking out into your backyard and I love these too. I think this is what they are. Oh yeah, it's on this side. So they're just little outlets that kind of go flush. There's one on either end or either side of the sink. The last one I toured, they flipped up. I like these better. These are kind of cool. So you got dishwasher, some more cabinets. And then into this great big cooking space. So gas stove, two ovens, super nice. And then the one thing that I love about this is that you've got these built-in kind of spice racks on either side uh, of the stove itself. And then down here, you have even more. So there's one on this side, and then you also have one on that side. So very nice. In the middle, you've got a great big island. I mean, this thing is huge. You've got the fun light fixtures over the top of it. It's got some pot and pan drawers here. And then the lip goes all the way around three of the sides. So you've got so much seating space. Like you don't, if you've noticed, well, I guess there's a dining room in there, but this would just be a great place for breakfast or just like cooking dinners. Like you're gonna be socializing in here for sure. And then on this wall, you've got a nice little buffet with some more display cabinets. There is an outlet back here. So if you wanted to put some stuff, but a lot of your appliances and things, you're gonna be putting back in this little scullery, which is super nice. And then this is another beautiful feature. You've got double refrigerators with a wine chiller in the middle. I like just how they blend in so nice. And you've got those upper cabinets up there as well. And we'll go ahead and go back this way before we go into the the garage and stuff. So again, you can see the dining room over here. And then if you keep, oh, I didn't even notice this. Check this out. You've got this rounded door. So if you keep going, this is the scullery slash, you know, pantry area, which means you got another dishwasher in here. You've got another sink, some nice light fixtures. This is where your microwave is. I mean, another, like you're prepping, this thing is, <laughs> it's cool. And then back, the other cool thing is back behind us, you've got a whole nother refrigerator. So that's pretty neat. I love this door though. That's probably my favorite part of this whole room is the door. And then right off of the kitchen, you've got your mud room. Got a nice little drop zone right here with the bench and you even got a place for like all your mail and stuff all your junk mail stuff you want to forget about great big laundry room these things are stout what are these what, what's up underneath of them you just i guess that's like storage compartments Got a little prep sink. And then back behind us is the folding table. Nice little spot for some baskets. Yeah, I'm gonna go through. <laughs> I'm gonna be opening a lot of stuff. All right, it's a little echoey in here. But uh, this is the three car garage. So it is massive. breaking the shoe rule. I didn't see any booties though. And that looks like this must be access into the crawl space. That's pretty neat. Ooh, it's super dark though. <laughs> I don't have a flashlight. But there you know, you can access your crawl space from your garage. All right, 
And then on this side of the kitchen, uh, you have one of the first bedrooms. So you've got a little linen closet before we get there. into the bedroom and all of these rooms are just super fun you got the like herringbone pattern on the ceiling nice fun light fixture great big crank out windows you've got a nice big closet over here as well does have its own ensuite. You got single vanity with the vanity lights. You got a toilet and then a nice walk-in shower with a tile surround going all the way up to the ceiling. All right, so just barely scratching the surface, but let me know what you think about this kitchen in here. Like, or this like and the scullery like do you like both would you only want to keep the scullery what would you do to the kitchen i'm keeping both <laughs> for sure all right so on the, again there's two different sides of the fireplace and on this side you have a nice cool looking bathroom i love this wallpaper it's awesome so you got single vanity in here Great big mirror and then the toilet. And then next to that is another linen closet. I guess slash coat closet. It's a lot of coat closets. I guess there wasn't one right off of the foyer. And then from there you come into like uh, your I guess brandy room, cigar room. Which is pretty nice. Got the barn doors right here that open up to reveal some some built-ins. And then on this side. This is where the master suite is. So again, coming into here, you have another kind of coat closet slash linen closet. Wait until y'all see this bathroom. Whew. Very nice. But anyway, I mean, the room itself is gorgeous too. Again, nice big crank out windows. I don't know, this one's gotta be bigger than the other side. But again, the other side, I mean, that could very well be like an in-law suite. You've got these fun light fixtures hanging down on either side of the bed. Those cool windows, the ceiling's got some wallpaper accent up there. And then a bathroom without a barn door. <laughs> so huge tiles, like look at the size of those things massive so you got double vanities in here that are separated by this beautiful soaking tub nice big window up above it all right we're gonna get to the shower in a minute but you do have a water closet in here i don't think there's no shelves but this thing is nice open got a zero threshold and then just all the shower heads on both sides and then a great big bench right here in the middle oh man we can dream right <laughs> quick somebody give me three million dollars so i bathroom is very nice and then even nicer is this closet all the way through the back you've got Plenty of built-ins and drawers and places to hang things. It's actually not as big as some of them that we've seen. 
you know, we've seen some of those that look like your own shopping mall when you walk inside, but this one is still very nice nonetheless. Now from here, we will work our way upstairs, which I mean, that's where you got a yoga room, you've got a massage room, you've got more bedrooms. Like there is so much happening up there. But as we're working our way up, uh, remember if you want more information on this floor plan or any of the floor plans that we've toured across the country, definitely go check out timothyplivingston.com. Uh, all of our blog posts over there that cover all the different homes, they have pictures uh, of the different homes, floor plans, pricing, all different types of stuff. So link for that is in the description. Your view back down into the foyer. And then right at the top of the stairs, I guess this would be a bedroom. It's got a closet, it's got a bathroom. So this would be the first of the bedrooms up here. I don't, most of these rooms aren't staged, so just keep that in mind. I do like this. So many of these rooms have fun little different ceilings and wall accents just going all over the place. And then into the ensuite, single vanity, toilet. This one's got a nice walk-in shower too. Shower head, an old bench in the back. And then all the way at the back of this one is the closet. Kind of wraps around over here too. With some shelves. See, this one's got a little bit different of a ceiling. And this backs right up to a golf course too. Man. Again, one of my favorite pastimes. Horrible at it, <laughs> no matter how hard I try. So into the closet, and this is something I noticed too. You've got these little hooks right here. They're like wrapped in leather, which is pretty neat. And then on the opposite side, you have the ensuite, you've got another shower in here. Now this one's a shower and tub combo. We'll go into, this is the last bedroom, the, the third one up here. And then we'll get into all the other goody stuff up here. But see, you got some more fun little things happening with the ceiling. The rooms are massive. Fun little wallpaper back here too. And then this one, so this bathroom actually connects back to the hallway and the closet for this one is in the bathroom which is a little different but i like how you have this little corridor until you get to the actual bathroom but you got the toilet these fun light fixtures and this great big sink check out some of these and then this one's shower Again, tile surround all the way up to the ceiling. And then the fun shower tray. All right, so we gotta backtrack a little bit. But you would have these great big doors right here that open up into, I guess this could be like a movie theater room. I mean, it's a on the floor plan it says bonus. So it could be a whole number of things. But you have a whole bar back here. Get yourself a microwave. Well, just kidding, it's already got one. So you can pop some popcorn, you know what I mean? Crack open a cold one, like Coca-Cola. Got the sliders, we didn't see any of those downstairs. 
And then you've got a patio up here too. A little, a little windy. But another little cool spot just to hang out. Got the little glass front right there, that's cool. And I think this one pushes open just like the one downstairs too. But the only problem, unless I don't think it has a screen. I definitely want a screen or you're gonna have bugs everywhere. All right, and then all the way at the end of the hall, you come into the yoga room. So you got attic access in here. Again, this is another bonus room, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a yoga room, but it could be like a nice big gym area. And then through the back, you've got your massage room. <laughs> oh, the life. I know where Jen would be spending all of her time. <laughs> uh, fun stuff. Anyway, beautiful home. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. If you do want any more information on this model or Raleigh Custom Homes, you can find that over at timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. And you can see if they're built in your area. You can also get pricing information and filter down based off of number of bedrooms, square footage, number of story, all different types of filters over there for you. It's 100% free, so definitely go check it out. You can find the link for that down in the description. Thank you so much for taking the time to tour this beautiful home with us today. Thank you to Raleigh Custom Homes for allowing us to tour it. And with that, until next time, my name's Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.